Hey! Hello. Welcome to the stream. Can We're you, back. Can you hear us? Is everything good? I feel like <laughs> um, we had to do We're a rusty. whole tear down of our stream, and I feel like, what if we forgot to turn things on, plug <laughs> things in? <laughs> well, I forgot nothing. Oh. I think. <laughs> Anyways, maybe it's all maybe it's all messed up. I don't know. <laughs> hey, run a man. Legends DM, board, board game feast. feast. Thanks for spending a little bit of your day with us. Yeah. Um, we are playing a game that Andrew Dead got. Deadpan as well. Oh, and hey, Deadpan, a game that you got um, recently. Because I was trying to figure out a game that we could like chit chat in between a lot easier. Which I mean, there's games that should should be like my full attention and yet we keep chit chatting um but this one's a fun kind of breezy game um hey family Brandon weight jar. Brandon jar yeah um yeah family weight game um it's earth day today so <laughs> this is a bicycling bicycling game um mm -hmm. a travel game um yeah yeah so uh we took a little break there um because my, fa Cause Cause, my family's been yeah, down. Totally. Yeah, everyone's fully vaccinated. And my, my parents, they were going to come and see us in like December. But mm -hmm. then they weren't really comfortable traveling. Um, so then they postponed it till like February. And they just kept postponing it. <laughs> Eventually, we're like, oh, this is perfect because I have spring break. Mm -hmm. um my work has spring break and then um and everyone was fully vaccinated so we got to spend some time with them and we really hope we really wanted to stream with them and i realized they really want to like hang out with our kid so i think before <laughs> before maybe before if like we didn't have a kid i feel like we would have probably streamed but we mm -hmm. ate really well yeah and uh part of the reason was uh also they were sleeping right here on our couch <laughs> and um as well as they're going to bed pretty early um mm -hmm. just to be up early with the with the little one so um we had, we were very ambitious we we're like we're totally gonna stream with them and <laughs> we're gonna get pia's sister to stream with us and maybe next time next i think time, she maybe, would yeah. um yeah bring a jar the art is oh nope this way the art is super pretty um and it just kind of evokes traveling. We got to travel. I mean, this game is from Taiwan, but we got to do a bicycling portion of our trip to China. So it was just like fun to see not only is this theme, but it's just a nice card, like a card game mm -hmm. um, set collection type thing. Yeah. Um, yeah I kind of did a deep dive after. So we played Formosa Tea like a month ago and I really liked it. Um, Pia was maybe more. Middle, I got middle too of the road confused. A bit. No, I think. I, but the thing is, afterwards, I was like, I yeah. think I want to play again. Which there's some games that I'm like, I'm getting wrecked during this learn, <laughs> and I don't know if I want to try again. But that one, I did want to learn again. Yeah, I think one or of the issues again. with that one was the puzzle was very fun to play, but it <laughs> didn't connect super strongly with the theme. So it was more of just like, a, not a pasted on theme, but like. It didn't necessarily feel like you were making a bunch of tea or something like that, but it was a fun puzzle, and um, yeah, I liked separately how, from it. Yeah, separately from that, and I liked the art, even though it wasn't necessarily the most usable art in it. But um, I think anyways, actually, I, I really enjoyed it. So, yeah. but it it made me realize that there's all these games coming out of Taiwan that are just now getting published in the U.S. and so I saw Miniature Market. I don't know if other stores have it, but I saw Miniature Market had like a kind of a special. Uh, they had a bunch of copies of all of them. And so I really wanted most of them. And it was really hard for me to, to narrow it down. I was like, okay, I can't buy all of these games. Um, but I can buy some of them. So uh, it was my birthday and... Um, I yeah so th this one this one is really funny because the way they publish this one is uh they just put a slip case over the the Taiwanese version of the game um and they put the slip case and then the rule book was just like strapped to the outside of it so it's it's not really a language dependent game so they just kind of uh uh 
shipped over the uh, the Taiwanese version of it. But yeah, we got a bunch of these, so uh, so wait you might for, be yeah, seeing... you'll be seeing a few of them from this line, both from this this big fun publisher. Actually, let's we'll, we'll pull them out here for a oh second. Oh my goodness! Uh, yeah, just Andrew's to show you hyped. a few of these. <laughs> also, Run Man Games subscribed oh, thank uh, you, for Run three Man. months. Woohoo! That's three awesome. months. Thank you so much. So. Uh, as everyone knows, we do analog alerts here. Here is the Monkey King, and he comes out to give you a blessing. Do you have and a blessing uh, um, Run a Man, thank you for the three month subscription. If you do trail running, I hope you find a new favorite trail to run on this year, this season. Mm. Hopefully, you like trail running. I mean, if you don't, maybe you will. <laughs> <laughs> And then LLMK, and then of course we've got our new emote hashtag blessed with uh, with a little picture of the Monkey King on there too. So either one, drop both. Uh, <laughs> it's fun to see this being used here. Um, yeah, because we made it, and then we we bounced. Then we were like, <laughs> yeah, off hosting. Um, yeah, no, I think I think it was something. It's not that Formosa tea is bad, but I think. I think Wayne Jar, you had mentioned something about like some games that are more complex when the design is like really hitting in terms of like what you're doing feels like the thing that you're doing, if that makes sense. It like supports the actions and so it makes more complex turns and more complex strategies um, a lot more um, easier to manage. I think you had made, you had mentioned that about maybe it was Kanban or one of the like Lacerda games. And I remember you saying it very early on as like, I can do it. I just have to focus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Andrew's going to so show I, you. I'm going to his... just show you my, my haul of um, Andrew <laughs> Taiwanese games. That, He's so excited. Yeah, well also, and this is the pared down version. This was me eliminating like half of the ones that I wanted. So um I went with the, because Formosa T is pretty heavy, I went with some of the lighter options um, uh, because I, I feel like the art is so inviting that I want to be able to play it. Have uh, that option. Yeah, have mm -hmm. that option. Whereas Formosa T, I wouldn't just introduce it to anyone because it's a bit of a, a learn. But um, all right, so one of the first ones we got here is, and we played this yesterday, uh, Harvest fun. Island, a fruit grower. Really cool art in this one. Um, and actually recommended by the Dice Tower, Seal of Excellence. Um, the Seal of Excellence. But um, anyways, really enjoyed this. We played this yesterday and also I, I would say probably similarly liked to this one. Um, little card game. It About fruit. About fruit. And each card in here comes with a different, like the fruit is pictured with a different animal. Um, and they're all like Southeast Asian fruits, I guess. Fruits from Taiwan, um, which and, was nice. Uh, my pa my family left, and then we played this game. And my family, like I, my mom, grew up on a fruit farm, mm -hmm. and like my family loves fruit. We have like a bunch of fruit that they buy when they come visit, and then we're like, we need to finish all of this because there's a there's too much fruit for us to <laughs> to finish. They buy fruit at a rate that I'm like, who's gonna eat all of this? But yeah, yeah, legends. Yeah, we were we were. Um, and the bummer thing, the, not the bummer thing, but usually I'll be on um, people's streams when I'm like feeding the baby, but like my family was helping out so much with the baby. So like we really didn't have like the downtime we usually have to have like a stream on in the background. And also I guess I always have streams on to like people like um, keep like keep me company hearing all the voices, but there is plenty of noise in our house. My family's very loud. <laughs> uh, um, and the Legends DM's like, I was like, where's Pia Andrew? Like, thanks for, thanks yeah, for, thanks I, for I, noticing, I guess. Uh, yeah, we posted it on our social medias, although I don't think we posted or like uh, said anything specifically on Twitch, so our bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we were we were hopeful. We thought we were we very hopeful. Around. We were like, we're definitely going to do at least one. Uh, but we had we had a lot of different. Well, um, I was like, Andrew, no one's going to like notice we're missing. And then when I was on people, like I was on Ruel's stream, and then I dropped in for Brandon Jars, like right at the end of their visit, I was like, 
a sudden rush of like I haven't seen these people like even though like I think it's it, it's it's a I didn't expect it to be like I miss these people like I like spend time with them even mm-hmm. if it's just like dropping in for about five ten minutes and then dropping out like that stuff I feel like I realize like you miss that yeah totally <laughs> and there's so many people uh yeah thanks Legends DM uh that that I missed chatting with and it's like it's weird when it's just this interaction with uh with just chat it's like words that pop up but Mm -hmm. you feel like you get to know some people yeah and just like updates of like oh so and so is like doing that or like we played recently um rival restaurants and i like remembered wanting to talk rival restaurants with board game feast and then i just like wasn't really like near my phone very much at all and that was a game that we wanted to play and we finally got a chance um, because we saw two friends that were also fully vaxxed and we were staying at their house and we've been wanting to play with, because Andrew's like, this isn't going to be good two player. We need four player. And so we finally got to play it. But then I didn't get a chance to like talk about it afterwards, which it was, <laughs> I, it's just, I don't have board game friends. So it was very interesting to be like, I need to like put this I excitement to de- somewhere. Debrief. This is, this game was awesome. <laughs> uh, all right. So the second game I got from the... Uh, this one's a different publisher. It is, um, oh, where is it? I think it's So So Games. Oh, So So does the Formosa Tea. Formosa Tea, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, this is uh, Electropolis, which is a tile laying game. Should go like this. Um, oh yeah, there we go. It's a tile laying game where you're building your own little city, but your city is composed of like ninety percent power plants, um, which is kind of <laughs> funny. And uh, you're just trying to power your city without making too much pollution. And I thought that was a fun theme. And it got some good... It's It was kind of hard to even see. There wasn't much information about any of these. Um, so uh, I kind of gleamed what I could. And there were these two... Uh, there was a tower, you know, dice tower recommendation here. And then this one had a couple positive reviews. So I was like, that seems like an interesting thing. I like the art in it. It's very striking. Um yeah, so it's that's that minimalist that thing. Yeah, Deadpan, Rival Restaurants Fun, played it at PAX U. Yeah, it was interesting because I we tried to play it with my friend, like my best friend growing up, and I was like, oh, this is about food. She's going to love it. And then Andrew's like, actually, I think her husband is going to love it more because there's that like negotiation piece. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was really, it was really fun. And Benita! They, hey, Benita! Oh my goodness, Benita. See, this is an example of like actually feeling like it's, so I saw, okay, sorry. I like starting multiple <laughs> statements. Benita, there is a book. I don't know if you heard of this, a memoir or not a memoir, but it's a book. Maybe it's a novel called Crying at, Crying in H Mart. Have you heard of this book? It's like, <laughs> I forgot. I Crying in H Mart, crying at H Mart. I don't know, but <laughs> I was like, how does uh, how well, they're like targeted ad just straight at me? Maybe I'm just talking about H Mart too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, um, Benita, I'm gonna tell on Pia right now. I gave I brought out for our drinks tonight. I brought out a Truly and a White Claw, and Pia picked the Truly. No, I was uh, that was gonna be my next one. <laughs> Save the so, best for last. Uh, sure, sure, sure. I did, and when Andrew says truly, it's just like an iced tea seltzer. <laughs> truly is inferior. That's but so that's why you can't end with it, right? <laughs> yeah, we all know we start with the worst drink. That's that's definitely. totally how I start. I don't know. I would save like my favorite candy at the end, and then like Halloween candy. I don't know if you guys did this, but you save your candy, but then. I saved my best candy, but they would all go stale as a kid. Um, <laughs> and maybe as an adult, I don't know. <laughs> but um, it, for those joining in, Andrew's doing his um, Taiwanese game haul. My birthday, <laughs> part of my birthday haul, I uh, kind of how we do birthdays in our house is like, hey, you have a budget, go like buy what you want. Um, <laughs> and so I did a big online order. And, I, and I, we had recently played Formosa Tea, and so I was like, on a t- all about these Taiwanese games. And so I was like, I need more of these Taiwanese games. It was really interesting. I love just uh, seeing how different like 
board game communities in different countries evolve and what mechanics are popular there and how they're iterating on them. And so it was really exciting to get these. And uh, yeah, so we got these and we got the game we were playing now. And then the last one is this this game, Dado Chung, Dado Chung, um, which has a similar like disc grid that Formosa T has, but apparently it's much lighter and it's about a market in Taiwan. And I really, I just was really, this <laughs> made me laugh a lot. And so I was like, all right, uh, this is, this needs to be on the list. So, um, did it kind of feel good to like not over research games? Cause I, and I don't know how everyone picks games, but Andrew does a lot of research. Um, and it's, it was kind of, I wonder if it was like a little freeing to not know very much about the games and just I mean, kind of have fun with a, with some more random Yeah, players. well, there was like 10 of these Taiwanese games and I broke it down to five. I guess that's 50%, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Pumpy know. Thimble. Hey, Pumpy Thimble. Andrew, where'd you order these? Uh, Miniature Market had them. Um, they had so like I don't know Taiwanese how many stores game. have these, but... Um, Anyways, they had all of them, and a couple of them were on sale. And these are the ones that seemed, from the little information that was on them, uh, like they were the better ones uh, of the ten or so that were that I was choosing from. So, anyways, you'll see these sometime in the streams to come. But um, yeah, I feel like the Harvest Island was a great little filler game, mm -hmm. and this one is also a really like we started it just a little bit just to like learn it. Um, and I really wanted to keep playing. I bought some games during my, oh, for your birthday as well. Yes, discounts were so good. Um, for you, birth, um, April birthdays. April, and I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I saw you posting about your birthday. You did like a birthday stream on the 14th. So I think we're just one day apart. Uh, if which, that, if, if, if that, if I was is... accurate. Yeah, yeah, I saw them, I was like, oh. And I noticed because it was the day before my birthday. I was like, we almost share a birthday mm -hmm. one day. Um, so also, uh, between you and me, we have the whole Titanic sinking. Uh, <laughs> it started sinking on the 14th, <laughs> finished sinking on the 15th. <laughs> I guess when you're a kid, you know things like special events about your birthday. I did not know that. <laughs> and I think Lincoln, too, because uh, dying. Because uh, he died on the 15th. Mm-hmm. But maybe he got shot on the 15th. I think it all happened at once. I don't really know. I don't know. My one, birthday, but... I don't think, had very many big events, but that was actually one of, the, like, Andrew oh, had really a... big tragedies that happened on the 15th, so I remembered this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they're I... old tragedies. So Older tragedies, kind of yeah. Laugh now. Ooh. Team Titanic, Titanic birthdays. birthdays. <laughs> April 15th, 1865. Oh, yes, there it is. Lincoln assassination. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a bad day for the world. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think if anything happens special on my birthday, but I don't think I don't think there's any big world events. All I remember is, um, um, like, I remember Lance Bass was born on the same day I was born. I think that's the only famous person I know. <laughs> That is Pumpy Thimble, and because of Lincoln's tragedy, modern board games are what they are today. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm half listening. Is that right? Yeah, that's exactly what we were saying. <laughs> you can track it back. Absolutely. <laughs> um, do you want to? Oh yeah, we'll switch to the. So board we specifically view. picked this game because we wanted to chat with everyone and see yeah. what everyone was was up to lately. Yeah. Um, but we'll kind of give a quick rundown on this game. It's actually funny because we did a bike tour in China and um, it was one of the, um, it also was like, their their branding was like this bright yellow. So I was just like, oh man, this game kind of just reminds us of our bike tour. It also made me realize that Andrew did not grow up in a warm place because he was making some, he like, I think when I grew up, I always knew to like just look for shade all the time um, when the like when it's hot out and then like we would bike and then we would stop and me and the person who was leading the tour um, would just like quickly find like just a little bit of shade and Andrew was just like right in the middle of the sun and Andrew's like I'm so hot and we're like <laughs> you need to get the little bit of shade that you can because it was like 80 plus oh it was like 90, maybe 100 yeah. 100 yeah. yeah when we were biking 
but it was so fun. And then I realized I'm not, I'm way, I'm a way better biker than Andrew is. That was like a skill because we didn't, we've never biked together. Apparently I'm a bad biker. No, no, no. It's not that you're bad, but I was like filming with one hand. Oh and like yeah. You are, you are a way better biker than me. But uh, I didn't realize it's one of those moments where you're like, oh, I'm like, I know this person very well, but I haven't done this like activity with them. And I realized mm-hmm. like they suck at it. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just like, oh, like I, I spent a lot of time riding bikes as a kid and yeah. you did I was much. the youngest in the like family groups that we had and i had a fisher price bike everyone else had bikes with gears and i got made fun of a lot for it so i think that affected how much i really (laughs) uh dove into the biking world um yeah and i don't think i ever got a bike with gears until i don't think i ever actually did i just have ridden them as adult at this Mm -hmm. point but yeah like uh, it was funny because you had to mark your skill level with bikes before you went on this tour. And so I very confidently wrote like moderate because I was like, I've done it before. So I'm not like, I have not not ridden a bike. So I'm not a beginner. And then Pia was like debating like, should I, I think I should do beginner because I haven't done it for a little while. <laughs> and we had this big conversation. I was like, you're definitely moderate. If I'm moderate, then you're moderate. And then we got on the bikes and Pia was like, flying around and i was still figuring out the gears and <laughs> it took me like two minutes but uh and then pia was like one-handed biking and i was like still uh balancing but <laughs> um oh brain jar just downloaded dwarf playing my first game right hey. now that was definitely i was playing a lot of dwarf in the background of people's streams uh, like two weeks ago and it's funny because i the first few plays i didn't like was me imme- i wasn't immediately like drawn to it but i think i just wasn't very good and then once i got like a little bit better i was like i get why this is fun and why this is like addicting mm-hmm. and hi Luna josh this is our first stream since having visitors we were trying um to get my mom to stream and she was very into it but we realized we were trying to pack in too much at one time mm-hmm. but um we definitely prioritize time with them with baby yeah. As much as possible. But I tried to write down as much of, like, all a bunch of things that she made for us, but it's really poorly, like, she was just like, just add a little bit more of that. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. Hey, Ruel, welcome. <laughs> hey, Ruel. Um, Ruel, we're just, ch- we're still just kind of chatting uh, um, about uh, Pia's family being in town and them seeing the baby and then our our big dreams of trying to get them on their stream which never happened but i think it will at some point yeah, we're times. just trying to pack too much at one time yeah Brutal we, dan is here too hey danny oh my gosh um danny we missed was... all y'all so much mm-hmm. actually i'm like realizing how much i missed everyone just yeah. like andrew, as we, as... andrew feels things <laughs> at a delay than i do i was just like i miss everybody and then andrew's like yeah and yeah. then now he's feeling it yeah um the, all the feels oh i feel like eco's first continent reminds me of dwarf oh yeah that that makes sense to me legends i can see the connection yeah um and brain jar says that they are um biking to work now so yeah it definitely like just takes i, I think it's interesting because it's like it's it's more about well not only does it take practice but like i think biking in different areas um like I remember we were doing in our bike trip in China, like I was super nervous about all the like intersections we had across. Mm-hmm. And then by the end of it, I'm like, oh, I can kind of get the pattern of how things move. Um, but like my childhood biking didn't really translate, but the more we did it, it was really fun. Mm-hmm. But anyways, we are playing a Taiwanese game called- You Bike Tours. Although the box says the bike tours, if you then take off the sleeve, Andrew got a bunch of says, Taiwanese games. You bike tours. Uh, so there's two names. If you look on uh, Board Game Geek, it is under You Bike Tours, which took me a while to find the exact link. But uh, yeah, it's a nice little filler light game, uh, card game. Definitely family weight. Um, you're building a little tablet. You're 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 competing to have the better journey on your bikes and uh you're trying these represent 
it's it's not just a biking game, which is I think the funny part. It's a bike. You know those the the like the bikes that you can the app the uh, rental bikes rental bikes. There's a bunch of different brands of them. I think um, Lime Bike is the one that's in this area. Or what yeah, I don't anyways, know. Anyways, uh, the ones where you go scan your app and then you can use the bike. Um, so it's roughly based off of that. So you're biking around Taiwan, and the more bikes you use, it can get you points. And uh, I'm not sure if it's officially sponsored by uh, a company or anything like that, but Let- I thought the theme was pretty fun. <laughs> Legends DM says, okay, I miss Pia, and then let the delay sit in, wait for it. Okay, now I missed Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, so mean. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love that. Actually, Andrew, when whenever we like whenever um like we go on trips, I'm always like super excited about the trip like a few days before and Andrew's like we're going on a trip and then like all my excitement has like been exhausted, not exhausted, but like I'm super excited and then Andrew's like it hit me, we're traveling. Like it's a mm-hmm. there's definitely a delay of like like i don't know delay of emotions not that but <laughs> i feel things in the moment pia prepares Anticipates. to feel things and then in the moment you're like i'm fine <laughs> <laughs> that's true yeah. i'm an anticipator um and andrew's a very moment to moment yeah. person yeah. um will be thimble i started walking to work a little over a year ago but that's when i was told to work from home so just downstairs <laughs> yeah everyone walked not everyone but a lot of people walk walk to work now <laughs> i'm gonna block you on twitter for that <laughs> wait the, what oh <laughs> the um but the cool thing and i wish we could show you maybe if we just start playing you you guys can see but the cards sorry you switched to the faces oh like, i thought we were still chatting sorry i was just this, enjoying the we anticipated this was gonna happen and that's why we picked a lighter game but if you flip back um there how many cards like the cards will be like uh um the cards will like line up and like create like a little scene which is really fun <laughs> but um. This conversation between <laughs> Brutal Dan and Plumpy Pimple right now is really killing me. Uh, but should we should we just start like start and just talk um, through our turns? Yeah, we can talk through our turns. So basically, the general turn structure is uh, the ra- there's a round that goes until everyone passes. There's two of us, so uh, till both of us pass, and then um, you're either adding cards to these rows that are out here uh, that we've started. Or you're passing and grabbing an entire row. And that's pretty much the whole game. Um, And uh, we're going to enjoy our little journey. So I'm starting, it looks like, uh, in some traditional Chinese opera. um, And um, the important information here is the distance number. uh, That's kind of what I'm working off of when I'm trying to score points. And here's mine. There is a um, dragon. (laughs) Plumpy Thimble, I'm the gift that keeps giving. <laughs> and there's the ten. So when um, I'll we'll explain wh- what those distance cards mean. Also, as we play. Plumpy Thimble, your your video, not not little. It was just the video that you made on Twitter um, today. Really got me. I, I don't know if you saw that. No, I didn't. <laughs> it was ba- it was basically. It was like, you know, the like exit scene in like, uh, remember the Titans or whatever. And it tells you like where they are today. Oh yeah. 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 So he was like, uh, running through the op- opening a door and he's got a brand new game and he's like, what's well, like, I'm so excited to play the game. And then it like switches to the, the freeze frame, like dramatic music. And it's like, the game never got played. It's still in rap. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's still sitting on his, his on his shelf. I was like, oh man, there's so many times this happened to me, but I'm not too bitter about it. Um, I try not to very pressure relate- people. R- very relatable. <laughs> oh man, if that um, happens to Andrew, I'm gonna like I'm gonna like save that um, that tweet, Plumpy Thimble, <laughs> and then I'm gonna play it play it like an air horn because air horns are very helpful for certain situations but i feel like what andrew described to me happens more it's more apt to andrew's life <laughs> okay so you Plumpy want Thimble, i'm trying to tell my kids a bedtime story and listen to spam and fight you it's a lot <laughs> i'm really impressed <laughs> 
<laughs> I can kind of picture that right now. Ooh, Legends is getting a poke ball bowl for dinner. <laughs> that sounds really good. Something that sounds like very like not very light, but like a lighter meal. Yeah, love poke. I had leftover French fries and a leftover burger. So yeah, that is poke. not a lighter meal. <laughs> Andrew, you go. All right, so I'll start. Um, actually, oh, I didn't grab it. There's also this little token for the first player token, which I just think is funny because it's Benita. This, what? Um, this is the first player token. Look at this guy. Oh, love it. <laughs> Actually, doesn't this um, this little character kind of remind you of the Fort characters of, oh, a of bit, yeah. Fort of Letter Games? Um, Benita, it, what were your birthday um, um, gifts? Birthday gifts? Birthday games you got? Oh, Did you get to play shit. any of them? And um, do you... Wait, why are you giving me that? Uh, this didn't come up last time, but if the number's lower than all the numbers, mm -hmm. then they go into the person to your left storage. <gasps> yes! So, um, but, um, that just okay, happened. you said gift originally, so I'm going to answer the, the, the question. So I'm going, okay, you said gift originally, so I'm going to answer the question. One of the presents <laughs> was a white claw candle! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> Bike. Also loved your cake. Uh, I don't know if did you see Benita's cake. No, oh. I, I I actually like really <laughs> didn't see any social media, so I need. It to, just like... said fuck COVID. <laughs> that, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's a great that's a great cake. Yeah. <laughs> so this is thirty nine. So oop, um, this is thirty nine. So I have to place it on a row that is. Um, smaller. So here's 25 and here's 27. Mm -hmm. It would go to 27 because it's the closest, the closest one. Card. And then I'm going to draw again. And this is 79. And the closest card to 79 is 73. So it goes mm -hmm. like this. And so these bikes, if you collect the row, those bikes you can then spend to go further distances on your journey. Um, that's the main thing going on there. So we're just building out these rows. And it was a sphere, so I got to cut into COVID. And a min cake was in it. And a mini <laughs> cake was in it? What? What? Oh my goodness. I'm not going to read your That's path awesome. to victory here. Yeah, don't look at my strategy. Um, and then, and then, so your turn could be drawing two cards or grabbing a yeah, row. There's a bit of push your luck because. Uh, if you choose to grab the cards, you can't grab a row, and so you could be giving cards to your a good building a good row for your opponents to grab. Ooh, okay. So there is nothing that is smaller than sixteen, so it goes to Andrew's. Yeah. my storage here. storage unit. It's a bike, so it goes my bike storage. Um, Man, so these little who shuffled this and yeah, did. so these storage things if you collect five cards into your storage Oh my god, so I'm at uh, you're at I'm four, at three. three If you collect five then you get these bonus cards and these bonus cards give you additional end game scoring and um, So on and so forth also do want to Let you guys know that say goodbye to our background wall here oh my gosh to andrew <laughs> say goodbye to uh the sound of this room um <laughs> and the uh ambiance that is brought to you by this room because we are moving our stream to a different room of the house <laughs> next you're week. so dramatic <laughs> We're moving it to the, the, the smaller media room. We had too many like cords everywhere, and I was like, "This child, when yeah, it, we when have it to make starts our, moving, yeah, we have to make our, we have to at some point make our house child safe." And so we're gonna consolidate all our electronic cord uh, catastrophes um, in one room, and so we'll be changing rooms. <laughs> So dramatic, yeah, Benita. <laughs> for a second, I was like, "What is he saying?" Basically, say goodbye to this cool little like 
swoop with the balls on it. The ball <laughs> the swoop, swoop. The ball swoop, which was up for a different haul, like for an event, <laughs> and then I just we're, never took it down. We're gonna have a send off. I'm gonna shake up this white claw and open it. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's like a it's like a champagne. Don't waste it. <laughs> Not the mango. That one's mine. Oh, who's gonna get the mango one? I think I'm, I am. Mine is um, further down. And Brain and Jar says, super late to the dwarf train, but I totally get the hype. Loving all the combos and goals. Also, the implementation is really well done. Total board game feel, which is probably why I can get into it. I agree, Brain and Jar. Like I said earlier, I wasn't getting the combos very like quickly. Um, so I wasn't really getting why it was fun. And then when I figured out how to play, I was like, oh, I like this, which is, you know, I'm grabbing a row. No, <laughs> I thought that you wouldn't for that. Oh, so um, Andrew. So the, the way this works is you, I pick one card to be my journey. So I'm going to this nice, you know, my next stop is these nice, beautiful flowers at the park. Just gonna enjoy myself. Looks like there's some tourists there. Um, there's someone but... with their feet. Oh, never mind. Sorry. It looked like their feet were in, like the pool, but it's not a pool. It's like some steps. Yeah, it's just it's just a bench. Sorry. Don't I... shame people for benching. No, I thought that they're that's put... bench shaming. That I and thought they're bad. they're putting their feet in like the in the what is it pool in the pool in the chat. Sound off. Does this look like a pool or does this just look like someone sitting on a bench? <laughs> I thought it was not. I don't a, judge people it's on It's not a pool. Like it's a <laughs> like a wishing. I don't know what you call it. Like an area where you, people throw coins in and uh, anyways. So to do that, I have to, since this is a distance of eight. Yes. To a distance Danny of 11. Danny said it kind of. Wait, hold on. Danny. Well, let, me, <laughs> let me explain my turn and we'll get there. The distance. So the difference here is three from eight to 11. So I need to. I need to rent three different bikes to get there. Uh, apparently they wear out at certain points. So um, then I'm going to place that there and that's going to help me. All right. And then discard those bad boys. All right. What, what, is, Dan, what does Danny, Danny say? Danny says it kind of looks like he's putting his feet in a duck pond. pond. That's exactly <laughs> what. All right. Everyone's super judgmental on the stream tonight. <laughs> I see how it is. No, actually, I people recently. people put their feet where they want them to be. No, not in the duck on leave the ducks alone i was watching um my favorite food food and drink streamer ice guy nico who i always talk about but he sent us he raided into this duck like pond stream has where anyone you, been there it, it was amazing you like people will cheer bits and then like food will come down and like give the ducks food i don't know where the stream is there were like 900 people watching, um, but that is the duck pond that I I totally think that looks like a duck pond. It's supposed to be flowers in there, but it looks like ducks to me. So I'm gonna draw two cards, 19. Ooh, there's no 19. I shouldn't have drawn it because that goes to you. And then <laughs> Benita, 40. I mean, I can see why it looks like that. And then since I mean, I can imagine it. If I'm gonna be fair. <laughs> and then since it's a pass, Andrew pass, then I get to play a turn and then draw. I'm gonna draw this group. And then I'm go I have a 10 right here. So the cheapest thing for me to do, or most efficient thing for me to do is play a nine or an eleven. And there's an eleven here. So I'm gonna go here. And so I my trip starts with a dragon like dance. And then it goes to a giant strawberry. Um, Is that how you spell that ice guy, Nico? I think so. Let's Just click see. it. It might be All double right, so K. So this is for the recommendation. Double K. Nope. Okay, double K. let's try again. Um, and then I get to keep these cards. So that's why it's advantageous to wait and let the like um, like line stack up. Um, but. Um, I really wanted that 11. <laughs> and then, Andrew, does this mean I can grab, uh, now that I have six cards here, can I grab, can I turn that in for a five? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Turn so five in. Five. Discard those bad boys and right get up. your... Okay. Hey, do I you think... know what that means? No, um, I don't know what that means. I totally saw it. Even though I wasn't supposed to. Uh, that one is, um... 
You oh, can, is you that can, our You can play can... two journey cards I can play in two one turn. Cards. Oh, but okay. if you want to look up the other ones, they're in there. Um, is that our life, our chicken life? Is that the name of the stream? I With the birds? don't know. Because it was ducks, right? It was ducks. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is that another duck feeding stream, board game <laughs> feast? Please let us know. And oh, bring a jar. Have you been like, yes. Ice Gay Nico is, is so great. And and he just is also like, super knowledgeable. So um, it's been really cool to just like he's a chef, learn stuff. Right? I mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's, oh, my bike's facing the wrong direction. Um, yeah, I like his stream a lot. We got hooked on a stream last night. What, what, whose stream was that? It was a stream that I think Griff Dog told us to watch. It's like a, <laughs> it's another food and drink streamer, but they do mukbangs. I don't know how to pronounce that. I should listen to how you pronounce it. Dash Anita. Ducks, Legends. Dash <laughs> Ducks. Yes, Legends. Thank you for, <laughs> I was trying to figure out. I was like, I think it, I think it's a different name than that. But, oh my gosh, um, I keep giving you cards. Yes! I don't know if you shuffled mm. this correctly. I shuffled it a lot of times. I, I didn't earn any cards from you last time. So I think I'm going to go... Do I want to push my luck? Anyway, so this stream was basically... They they were biking... Biking? In Korea. That's actually their... why. That's <laughs> one of the reasons why I thought it. They were biking to their... Um, to their farm. Farm in Busan. Um, and they were just biking through Korea and live streaming the whole bike ride. And then they would just stop and dance uh, and, and, eat snacks. and eat snacks and then keep biking. And it was mesmerizing. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew was talking about how I think we're on a we wish we could be traveling. And it's your turn. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, kick. I think that's why we picked this game. One, because of that stream, because mm -hmm. they were biking. Because Andrew was like, it's automatically way more interesting like seeing people travel and bike when it's not a place you've been but also our family oh my gosh, or my family coming so in high. my family coming in just like made me excited for for future travel um but mm -hmm. yeah um our chicken in life does have a few ducks too <laughs> <laughs> uh we gotta check that one out i mean that's a, a fun four. idea for a stream definitely just <laughs> wildlife is fun to watch and being able to feed them with subscriptions is brilliant bits bits oh um it makes me wanna let me think so all these cards also, did i read out loud benina's comment earlier i feel no. like i read it rung so loudly between my ears is <laughs> andrew i missed both you both but don't forget i still hold a grudge for you <laughs> killing me <laughs> I, it it just spoke so uh, <laughs> loudly in my brain that I was like, I think I read that out loud, but then I was like, actually, I don't know if I did. It was, it, the words <laughs> resounded. Um, the cool part, too, about this game, which I don't know if any of you all can see, but all the cards are unique. And so I'm going to grab this, this row. But this one has a little noodle stand. Gotta buy it. And then this one has like an outdoor theater. Anyways, just, mm. you know, an, one of those games where you get to play with art and it's really fun. And it's a great card for me because it's a 10. Um, and this one goes here. And then I get one, two, three, four, five. That's five cards. So I get another. Yeah, another one of those. Another one. My strat is not working out. Um, I'm giving it to you. Oh, shoot. All right, I don't so I'm not going to draw any cards because all of the... So the numbers in the top left is how how we determine where the cards go um, when we pull them. And they need to be lower than the cards that I pull. And our lowest card currently is 61. I think we just got to start pulling them just so that but we I'm can... not... Because if I pull them lower, then they go to you. So I'm not even going to pull them. I'm just going to grab a row because sick and tired of this <laughs> <laughs> he's sick and tired um danny if you're still there what do you think of spirit fair i really like it i'm about halfway through going um, to the mall actually like? i don't know if i'm halfway through but i'm part way through and i'm really liking it um but those are games where i don't really play a lot of board games and or not board games video games and i tell andrew i'm like i can't do anything anymore and he's like you need to get this mission to like unlock the rest of the story. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like it. Um, 
It's very pleasant, just like this game. And I'm trying to and figure it is out. Your turn. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm trying to figure oh, out. Oh, this, this is card is. So each of the cards have um, a suit, like a suit or like a, a type of location. So this is a biking location, which I guess makes sense for a biking game. But there's also like Food restaurants locations. and um, and so if you have this card, uh, each cards of these you have, you get two points for um, three uh, three of the same type of location so you're already so, two of the way there so i want three of the same to get two yeah. points and that is technically hidden information Sorry. so uh, but game. we're learning the game so lurking while playing cubitos um board oh, game yeah. feast you For don't need to come out of lurk but i want to know <laughs> how many players are you playing cubitos because we played it two and really enjoyed it but it's definitely one that i can't wait to play it for like with five or six or whatever i think it goes up to six because the chaos of that just sounds it just that push your luck with a lot of players just gets just more exponentially more fun um with more players so two is still very fun but um yeah. and yeah so and not just board game piece if anyone else has played kubitos with different player counts let us know and here's an example of what the scenes like the cards when they're all next to each other they all like stack and um and what they look like they're also like, real places all stuff. real places i love the drawings of it it makes me want to travel there again we only got to stay in taiwan for just a short amount of time a long layover it was i think a day did we stay the night there Legend. i don't even think it was a i don't even think it was a full day but it was like 18 hours or something we got to go out of the airport and we got some street food and stuff like that um legends what is in your poke bowl we need Ooh, to know. Yes. And then also, I bought it during a sale, but I still haven't played it yet. Cue, um, Pumpy Thimbles the video. Um, it's so pretty. I love that that there's mini games that you you can do: decorating the boat, planting things, cooking things. I literally only forty five minutes in, and I'm very very and <laughs> very question mark with the story. Yeah, it like it. I was not sure i was like what's going on with the story and it like becomes a little more clear because they just kind of throw you in the middle of like like what's the world mm -hmm. and so it, yeah it, it like kind of like not it's not mysterious but it like kind of fills you in with the world building mm -hmm. in a very not asymmetrical way but it just doesn't like flow the same way when they kind of like on like onboard you at the beginning and then add more if that yeah. makes sense Kind of like uh, exploration based storytelling instead of like there's a story arc that they're going with, but more like you get to pursue the stories that are interesting to you. Is that what mm, you're saying? Yeah. Or like you get to see parts of like the world and the parts of like your character by like exploring other things instead of it being like, I don't know how to explain it. Hmm. I don't know how to explain it without giving too much, but um, the... <laughs> I I do love cooking things. I don't know why, but like any game with cooking things. That's why I loved Rival Restaurants. The recipes in Rival Restaurants were so good. I love that there was Peruvian food. Um, uh, our friend, you know, the Moy, the, the Chad, Moy original subscriber, original, first and original subscriber. Um, I like you always said that you grew up eating per like Peruvian dishes here and there because of going to his house growing mm -hmm. up. And it was really cool to see Peruvian food represented in rival restaurants. Yeah. Um, and also, I didn't realize there was a all POC team, which was also very fun to learn about. Mm -hmm. And it's my turn, and I was talking, and I gotta make a plan for my. Oh, okay. So we got a few things here. Legend DM says I didn't like Cubitos, but the two play uh, played a two player. Unless I got rid of the red dice. Oh. I oh, the red dice is a little aggressive. So if you don't like aggressive things, that makes sense. What's the red dice? Or can uh, you they were the what... attacky dice. They like. Oh, was it they... the swords? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Legends DM says my Poke Bowl is just rice, fish, green onions, and seasoning they use. Ooh. Sounds good. Uh, and then Brutal Dan. Fish sounds really good. Cheered right us 100 now. bits. It said, Whoa. Can I get some Monkey King love? I just fired up Fall Guys for a couple of games before bed. <laughs> I love the, the quote unquote. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, thank Thanks. you, Brutal Dan, for the bits. Um, let's see. May, um, um, let's see. Well, May, you do well in Fall Guys. 
for the couple of games you're planning on playing. But also, may all those antibodies um, make you real strong and healthy and protect you from the COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Also, also, uh, may you jump, may one of your jumps in Fall Guys look like it's going to fail, but then you just make it and you win the round. <laughs> uh, and then ben Benita cheered as well. <laughs> Thanks for the LLMK's <laughs> chat. Um, Benita. Benita. May... Let's see. I don't know if you got board games for your birthday, but may you get a chance to play them. And then also, may you find a great new lip color for the upcoming summer that lasts longer than expected. Because it's hard to find a good color that like stays on well anyways i have <laughs> oh bless i have a curse oh a curse <laughs> the rare monkey king curse <laughs> andrew what's his curse what's your curse monkey king that lasts while eating and drinking that's totally true i have a curse <laughs> fuck covid oh, no. oh my gosh <laughs> i was like you're gonna curse benita die covid there you go <laughs> There you go. That works. Um, Thirty-one. Uh, I don't. Have that was a inspired by your cake. Cake. <laughs> <laughs> um, the and then I did my turn. So oh just... no, that's okay. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's your turn. It's my turn. So many bikes. Oh, Andrew, can you pass me the? I'd be Andrew. Here you go. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> draw. I'm just giving you cards. Oh, did you give me cards? Yeah. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and so I love getting cards in this game because it gets me one of these. The game ends when um, okay. the person gets to the first. Um, whichever player gets the first nine cards. Also, one uh, of the reasons, okay, yeah. well... Just hand in cards right here. Hand I really like cards. this game because it's not super language dependent, which is something we like to think about, especially because um, we like to play our games and then pass it along to my family in the Philippines. <laughs> and they, it's like really, it's a lot easier to teach them those type of games, especially the my family members who like want to play games but are maybe too embarrassed to join in. These are the types of games that they'll watch and then like observe and learn how to play um, without asking to play with us, and then they end up playing it when we're not around. <laughs> Ooh, this is a really fun card. Ooh, Legends DM asked Brutal Dan if he's watching Mortal Kombat, <gasps> and Brutal Dan says, "You bet." Um, we are. We have plans to watch Dang it tomorrow it. night, and actually, this is what's the most exciting part: is it is two of our friends. Uh, it's their 15 days after their uh, COVID shots, and mine was Monday. Pia's is Saturday, and so we are going to get together and we're oh. going to watch it. Not just the two of us; there'll be four of us, <laughs> which is very exciting. I haven't done that in so long, <laughs> and we're going to drink champagne. And we are maybe going to drink some Bloody Marys because I feel like I haven't suggested it to them yet. So I, they haven't accepted it. But I know it's a morning drink, but Bloody but Marys <laughs> during Mortal Kombat just feels right. So maybe we'll drink some Bloody Marys. Who knows? <laughs> Getting wild with the drinks. <laughs> Olympian. Yeah. Very true. We could do that or we could do like a Sub-Zero like type of drink oh, too. Bloody Mary makes sense though because... Mortal Kombat is just, just a very bloody board game, yeah. or not bo bloody board game, bloody video game. But I grew up playing it because my parents immigrated here and they didn't really know, like they weren't really keeping their like ear to the like, I don't know, mm -hmm. to the ground. Is that the saying? Yeah, just like watching 
uh, like what games to keep your kids away from. Yeah, my parents didn't know any of that. So me and my cousins played a lot of Mortal Kombat growing <laughs> up. Um, when I found out that everyone's like, my parents didn't let me play that. I'm like, oh, that's fair. I don't know if my parents knew exactly what we were doing. <laughs> uh brain jar i i love a spicy bloody mary yes, yes. you should try the spicier the better micheladas wait that sounds familiar Mich- micheladas sounds good i i feel like i've seen that word but i don't know what it means did you just i go? recognize that word um olympians excited for that movie i d- we didn't see the seven minutes i'm afraid that i'm gonna get impatient if i i, I try to stay away from the 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 like intro scenes that they release pre-movie i'm gonna watch it without yeah. andrew <laughs> you can't get yeah. uh i don't know i i i'm try to stay away from spoilers as much as what well, uh, as i can i, I love, watch a trailer but then i try to stay away from everything but the trailers i love spoilers mm. i love trailers <laughs> i know that sometimes andrew was telling me that trailers are often made by not the same company as the people who like release the movie or produce mm-hmm. a movie so sometimes that's where you'll get a mix mismatch or like the wrong expectations about a movie because it's not really the vision of the movie but i don't care i love trailers i love more information is it um, your turn it oh is no you just gave turn. those yeah. yeah okay i'm grabbing spoilers this. there is combat between mortals <laughs> that's what i'm here for <laughs> Um, I passed and am grabbing cards and I don't have a card to put in my journey, so I won't be. Whoa, man. Um, yeah. Mortal Kombat. I'm, I'm really excited about that. That's a big part of my childhood. And actually I didn't really play very many, very much of it. The hierarchy was, I was a younger cousin. <laughs> so my cousins, I don't know if Money Josh is still here. Cause I'm calling you out. No, um, all my older cousins would play the video games and I would sit and like watch them play. But that also happened with Aladdin on Nintendo 60, not Nintendo 64, on Super Nintendo. Um, We played, well, I say we played video games, but it was me watching them play. But actually, you know what? Maybe that's why I like Twitch streaming because like there's so many games I love to play, but I don't either have time or like, I want to play a certain way, but I'm not able to execute it. So if I watch people play the video game, then I get to experience it. But um, also, Brutal Dance or Olympian says, "Spoiler: There's combat between mortals." And then Brutal Dance says, "Source." I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, sure it's combat, combat with a K. <laughs> um, also, uh, this is a great question for the. Oh, I think this is a fun question for the chat. Okay, go ahead. Uh, if if your parents did or didn't um, restrict your gaming when you were a kid, what games did you get away with playing uh, either secretly or because they just, it was one they didn't hear about, but maybe you shouldn't have played it at that Wait, age. what do you mean? I don't understand. Uh, so Mortal Kombat for you, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Like so you, played- like, you're like... Obviously, you look back at it, it's pretty cartoony now. It's not so bad compared to how graphic some games are now. Like, oh, yeah. Like, I wouldn't if wouldn't let our kid play The Last of Us until maybe they're in high school or something like that because it's just incredibly graphic, um, the violence. But um, anyways, for me, it was... Uh, this sounds way more serious. You're just like... Oh, no. So, yeah. No, I just want to know. <laughs> No, for me, it was uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. Uh, I got it when it came out, and me and my friends all, like, we were in middle school or whatever, or high school, early high school. We thought it was the funniest thing in the world, played it, got tired of it, stopped playing it, and then uh, the next one came out, Vice City, and then the next one came out, which was San Andreas, and then that one got a bunch of news attention to it and how bad it was, and so my oh. parents heard about it when it was Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And I didn't buy those two because I was kind of tired of it by that point. You um, moved on. I had moved on. And uh, and my parents like sat me down. They're like, you're not going to be getting Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And I was like, yeah, don't worry about it. You're like late to the show. <laughs> like, I was I'm like, old. we've already played like 200 hours of Grand Theft Auto 3. <laughs> you were, you're more into... Um... What would you say was like a big series that you really like? Final Fantasy? 
Yeah, Final Fantasy was a big one. Time Splitters was kind of the big one in high school. Uh, mm-hmm. We would play that multiplayer or split screen. Oh, Benita, I didn't really play video games as a kid, so I can't answer that question. Oh, Did you watch people okay. play video games? Yeah. <laughs> like me? Um, that is okay, too. <laughs> uh, we, I, I have a friend who plays a lot of Apex with us, and... Uh, he only his first shooter is Apex as an adult, and he's learned to play shooters by playing Apex in the last year and a half, and super cool. Uh, mm-hmm. I love that he has kind of taken up that as a hobby. If I know I want to see a movie, I try not to watch shows because one time I saw a trailer with three awesome scenes, and then it's the only yes, yes! oh my gosh, <laughs> legends, that's so true. Or, or like sometimes comedies, they have all the best jokes in the trailer, and then you're like, what? <laughs> Olympian says his, his uncle works at Midway and told him. Um, um, Leisure Suit Larry was when I was like When you were 12. 12. Oh, gosh. Um, I did really, I did read trashy romance books in seventh grade and in hindsight probably shouldn't have been. <laughs> Benita, I feel like if I knew those those books, I feel like I would like those books and probably have the same response like maybe i shouldn't have been reading reading these but i told i'd totally be super Ooh, legends it. dad owned an arcade that's super cool you just go play at the arcade uh i think mortal kombat was a big one mm-hmm. so WS- oh wcw i'm on the roof of our apartment and trying to superplex each other onto <laughs> the the trampoline. Trampoline. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes benito definitely <laughs> The um, the also Benito. What was that? That um, what was that anime you were trying to get everyone to watch so you could talk about it? I I wrote it down on a piece of paper and then we cleaned our house for my parents and I lost <laughs> fruits basket. There it yeah, is. that's it. That's it. <laughs> I love the the energy, <laughs> the, the the immediate response. Um. Andrew, it's, I think it's your turn. Anyways, we'll just keep talking. Oh man, the um, speaking of um, like brutal Dan, that's definitely way more exciting. The the um, jumping on the or climbing on the roof. I my friend Elizabeth and I, I was we watched the old power rangers movie and i showed andrew and i was pointing out like moves that they were doing in the power rangers movie and i was like andrew i totally thought i could replicate this move like whenever they get hit and they're somehow standing on a gravel pile and they're like rolling down me and my friend elizabeth who played rival restaurants with me we would like get on couches and like roll off the couches and pretend to be like rolling off um uh gravel piles and the random like hills that the power rangers would fight on um, i passed Benita. pia oh you passed sorry yeah so you have you to you need to go and let me see and talk yes i need to i need to i want to see benita talk fruit baskets um i need to watch a little bit of it just so i know so i just have a little bit i think okay sorry 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 grab fruit baskets also benita i want to know when you play ragusa because I know you've been talking about it. Did you say you were going to play today or did I miss that? Is Benita the one that was talking about Ragusa? I felt like someone was talking about it and it was like making me feel like you were talking about it. And so when you proposed that game, oh, that's sorry, sorry. She did. She mentioned it. And that's one of the, uh, one of the things that put it back on my list. Ooh. Sorry. So disappointed. You gotta, you and gotta, gotta grab go. it. Yeah. You yeah. Well, I get boat. to play right before I, get, I, I. Yeah, yeah. yeah you okay. get to do one. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, curious cargo. That was the other game that I brought with us traveling around. We ended up not ended, not ending up playing it. Um, we played a couple of other games though. Yeah, we played other games though. So. Um. And then very this, excited does to this, that one. does this draw? Does the piles get Refill, reset? Yeah. So many games, so little time. I know. And I just showed you guys like five of these (laughs) Taiwan games. And then, yeah, it's funny. So, um. (gasps) Hold on. Look at this. It looks like, um, that can't, it looks like it's like a bow, a bow, 
um, stand. Food stand. Food stand. Oh, yeah. Love it. Love it. Oh, <gasps> and this is um like um the like dough on a stick. Oh, the dango. Which, if anyone's playing Monster Hunter, Andrew's been playing I've been it. Playing a lot of Monster Hunter. He showed me the dango cutscene, and it's really fun. Not now, but when you get a chance, can you show them again? I missed the Taiwan Games intro. Yeah. Oh yes, we will. Totally. We will. Um, I want to do it right now, but okay. <laughs> well, you should because we just reset it. So. Okay, we're yeah. between rounds. We won't forget whose turn it is. Uh, anyone who saw these before, uh, you'll get another. Another little, another little. Danny thing. Andrew is happy to show you, fluffy bunny dango, so light and fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have never had dango before. Um, have you, Pia? Um, is it similar to? It's mo. It's it's mochi. the mochi rice paste. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, and then it's either grilled or fried. Uh, is it like dochi? No. Oh. It's not. It's not deep fried. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, it, yeah, on those sticks, and then mm. they, they make it. It looks There's really a good. Filipino and I think they, something that looks like that, but I don't know. I've never tried it, so I don't think they're filled with anything. So they, but they're flavored themselves. Within, yeah. oh. um, Olympian asks a big question: Do we think we're in the golden age of board games, and it's just going to go downhill from now? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I think I not. think I think we're in the golden age of boy, board games, and it's just gonna go uphill from here. Whoa, <laughs> Mr. Optimism. Yeah. Uh, so one of the games here that I got, uh, Danny is Danny and everyone else and who's everyone interested. Else. Uh, Harvest Island. It's called Harvest Island: A Fruit Grower. So it's a little filler game, um, card game. I just want to show the cards, so it's and like... the cards are really nice. Looking. Like, look at this. It's a it's a tree frog on a pomelo. And I think one of the things that I or love... a dragon fruit with a lizard. They each have an animal and a fruit, which... Um, and the game itself is pretty fun. It seems to be... After playing it once at two players, it felt like maybe built better for three. Um, just because there is a way to kind of deny cards from each other. But it doesn't really work very well in two players. Um, mm -hmm. And so uh, I am really excited to play it with three or four players. Um, but I think two players, not quite. Those are the things I kind of wish, you know, the box said three to four players instead of two to four, two to four or whatever. But um, I really liked the mechanics in it, and I thought they were pretty interesting. Um, um, and Andrew, we just love that it's like, these fruits from Southeast Asia, well, specifically Taiwan, mm -hmm. but um, also it, it's one of those moments where you are just like, man, when games come from another country, it's like there, there is like there it is, like there is like yeah. their culture or their like agriculture, you know, like it's just if this there. was German, it would be sheep and uh, cows again and. <laughs> You know, like you, and grass, you know, you, like, de you design from what so you know, right? Yeah. And so, like, I was just so psyched because pomelos are some of my favorite fruit. So I'm like, there it is, pomelo, and it's just there, um, being a part of a game so like, uh, so effortlessly. So, anyways, mm -hmm. and I was saying earlier, my mom or like my grandpa is a farmer, and so all these fruits are like a big deal. Mm -hmm. And then this is uh, Electropolis. It's a little city building game. Uh, tiles for the city, although most of the tiles are various like power plants. And so you're trying to manage your pollution and um, and your power that you're generating. And seems like a pretty fun little game. Um, and I'm really excited to play it. I read through the rules when I got it, but... Um, I can't exactly tell you all the nuances of it because we haven't played it yet, but very excited to play this one. You're building your own personal little city. Um, and then also, I think the art for all these games are really great. Um, and just a unique look yeah. to it, too. Mm -hmm. And then the final one is um, Dado Chung. Uh, and it's got this guy just poking his eyes up. <laughs> Andrew definitely, like, <laughs> got the game for the, like, the guy. <laughs> the game for uh, the... That's not entire... I did research these <laughs> games a bit, but there's just not a lot of information about them. Um, 
And uh, if you saw us play Formosa T, you might recognize the this like grid disc thing going on here, which um, is also present in Formosa T, although it's it plays out very differently in this one. This is a much lighter game than Formosa T, but anyways, um, you're at a market and you're buying and selling different market items in Taiwan. Yeah. So, but Andrew was those saying are, that those are the those are the Taiwan games, and then of course. The bike tours, Taiwan. <laughs> but Andrew is saying that he just likes seeing the different, um, the different mechanisms that are like um, hot or exciting in a certain um, like country, and just like like that's so that's so cool. That's why we love getting mm -hmm. games from different countries. Even the fact like the size of these games. One of my cousins, she lives in Japan, and she <laughs> one of her big things was like she loves board games, but she can't like own very many and so mm -hmm. she plays all the board games when she goes to the philippines when we bring them over but it's like yeah space is like even more of an issue there and mm -hmm. so like you can see that i mean even in oink games but i feel like just how tight these boxes are like mm -hmm. it, it's reflective of the the culture and like i don't know if you can tell the size i mean you don't know how big we are we could be huge or and this is yeah, yeah. There we go. I don't reference. know if this this doesn't really reference anything. Uh, this is how big it is reference yeah. to a white claw. It's our white claw, uh, <laughs> white claw reference can. Um, it is almost one white claw high. Um, Benito, and you about should about one white claw thick. So if this, uh, you know, if you were putting this in your refrigerator, it would go right next to the white claws and fit perfectly. <laughs> Also, Benita, you're right. Mango is the best. <laughs> but we can switch back to... Yeah, we'll switch back to the game also, the next round. Yo, wait, 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 wait a second. A lot of the um, the game, the the fruit game that we had, are White Claw flavor. Or like watermelon, not tangerine, because they used... Wait, tangan. Is tangan tangerine? I don't, I don't know. know. But mangoes in it. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Now I'm getting distracted. The fruit game was very fun. Yeah. But um it is your turn, right? Yeah, because you ended the last round, right? So I am going Yeah, to... I agree with the culture being from a different country. Like it's so cool to have those themes and ideas that feel fresh, even though nice. they're just really normal. Yeah, it's totally like there's yeah, there's something that's so like effortless about it and I don't I didn't think I really knew what that felt like until I saw especially the fruit game because um my mom growing up on a fruit farm and just like kind of talking like my my grandpa like grew papayas and whatnot and like mm -hmm. just how I don't know it just felt different than a different food themed game if that makes sense mm -hmm. i'm trying to articulate something that's kind of un just a little more nuanced but i'm glad that you um if that made sense to you yeah. Dan. i think i think effortless is a good way to describe it you know um let's see it's so funny because this is definitely a 30 minute game but we definitely yeah are we're dragging slow. it Sorry. out um, what's this card it's just know. like hanging out okay i have no idea what that is so i'm just gonna put it here Sorry, I interrupted you. Uh, I was thinking effortless. But I mean, even um, like if you see, what was that? Night Market that came out, mm -hmm. uh, which was, I think, an American designer or at least a white designer. Might have been a European. But they had But they had, they had cultural consul consultants consultant. and stuff. And the, the funny thing is for that, I love that they have the cultural consultants. That's definitely the right move. Uh if you are kind of stepping into someone else's sphere and making a game about them. Um, but I think the effortlessness that you're describing when a game is just made by people in that culture, like these are Taiwan, like that game was about Taiwan, right? These games are made in Taiwan by Taiwanese people and they're just effortlessly, effortlessly displaying their culture versus like uh, all these steps of like, having to do the cultural consultant and then even then still maybe getting some things wrong and then like kind of stepping stepping on eggshells i guess to make your game about their culture versus mm -hmm. people just making it about themselves and it's like oh this is just good this is interesting this mm -hmm. is like uh breezy or you know like i don't know 
Does that you make sense? You know what? It kind of reminds me, Andrew and I are big stand-up, like, fans, me specifically, but there is, um, in, like, stand-up comedy, they talk about, like, um, kind of, um, performing or, like, speaking to the back of the audience, or the back of the room, which is, like, in a sense, like, you can have jokes in your set where, um, people like the big like the mass like the main group of people you're speaking to might not get it but like a few people will really connect with it and then those are going to be the people who like are so excited about your body of work your comedy because you found something so specific so accurate just like plumpy thimbles like um video you know it's like it's so um it resonates so well um because it wasn't trying to like play to a big audience i think with some like games when it's created by a group of people that are representing their own culture part of it that i love is like sometimes there's no explanation they're just like this is a part of our culture we don't want to have to explain it to everyone it's just gonna be part of our game and i love that because i love that audacity like i love that like we don't have to keep explaining like we want it to be fulfilling and exciting for those who are within the culture as well and mm -hmm. and um one of my friends who's a teacher she that was one of the things that she really wanted to teach her students who are part of a majority culture so in the u.s it'd be like white american would be like not everything is for you and when there's games or like art that's being created that doesn't come from your perspective like not being afraid of that and like being like, oh, that's interesting. And I, I don't have to come from a place of understanding. I can come from a place of learning. Mm. I feel like games that are like this, that are like, there is not an explanation for what all of these food items are because its role is not to be educating. It's just like expressing, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, this is what mm. our culture is. Um, and I think that's where maybe sometimes games feel effortless because um, they're not spending the whole time explaining. They're just like presenting yeah. yourself. I that's don't a, know. That's a, that's a great way to say it. Expressing versus explaining. Um, it's Brutal, more, Brutal oh, yeah. Man had a great comment in there too. He said, big agree. Sometimes themes are slapped on by American European designers and it doesn't feel as appreciated as natural, maybe forced. And mm -hmm. then... He says it's more of a novel theme rather than a connection. I think that novel theme oh, yeah. is exactly what you're saying. They're explaining something that they've learned versus expressing something that they are. Um, mm. That is, yeah, uh, that's a great way to describe it, Pia. Um, and then uh, we got some hype in the chat for Jessar. Just gave out a community one. Oh, wow. Uh, a tier one community subscription. Oh, thank you, Jessar. So, of course, uh, we've got our analog alerts here. You get a blessing. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, this is... Okay, Jessar, I don't know if this is going to connect, but thank you for the community sub. Um, may your most your most recent your your up and coming camping trip if you like to camp may you have really good sleep and you don't have a rock under you under your sleeping bag when you sleep <laughs> it's it's getting it's warming up in the in our part of the country and i like ooh we get to camp soon but you know rocks under your your sleeping space they'll get you and that you get the opportunity to camp yes also <laughs> like you get no 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 bring them back whoa, bring whoa, them whoa. back um and you get a really nice flat surface because i've definitely slept and like my head is below like my heart and i like wake up and i have like a headache because i'm like slightly <laughs> um like d like not inclined but like declined anyways <laughs> that's a very specific <laughs> blessing um, but thank you so much, Jess, um, Jessar. <laughs> uh, and I love, the, always love the LLMKs along with the Monkey King. The Monkey King. Uh, Jessar says, yeah, K Pax says, just in time for the Monkey King blessing, yes. K Pax is going to be joining us this weekend um, for Andrew's belated birthday since my family was in town. We're playing a bunch of board games um first board game day first board game COVID. day because 
a bunch of our friends are we're all getting vaccinated well we are vaccinated uh and and, and so... past our like various thresholds of like waiting mm -hmm. but um we're playing cosmic frog k-pax is gonna learn it and teach it to us i know a little bit of it actually k-pax because i was reading it and i really wanted to play it and then Andrew was like, we need to wait for more players, Pia. It's not going to be a good game to our one on one. But two mile high frogs. How can you yeah. say no? <laughs> Traveling dimensions and spitting up earth. <laughs> has anyone has everyone seen this game? Oh, uh, Griff Dog, you're, you were yes, the one who was yes. talking about about right. holding off. Yes. I'm going to grab the box just because people, if you haven't seen the box to this game, uh, you need to. Uh, we're Sorry, we're like very off topic. Today. We're very off topic, but we've, we've just been excited about this, this stack of games from Taiwan and having friends to play and we, um, friends who are vaccinated and having my family in town we've been eating well <laughs> this is the game isn't it cosmic wild? frog world eaters from dimension zero a <laughs> uh, game of strategic gluttony it feels um like lisa frank but weirder <laughs> Oh, I've heard about this. I've never seen the cover. Benita, it is a wild cover. Andrew bought it and I was like, what? Like this, I don't really know. Like I haven't seen a board game cover like this. I, I didn't have to think too hard about that one. I saw that one and I knew I wanted it. I like what they're, I like what they're doing. I knew what was happening, yeah. Did you go over what games you got from there? Well, yes, just so yes. we did. <laughs> But we can go over them again. <laughs> we'll do it at the end of the stream. So yeah. if you stick around. <laughs> the cards and minis are so great. Yeah, the art is so good in that game. Griff Dog, I've really, like, really... I want to get good at painting minis so I can paint the Cosmic Frog. Ooh, Just Star says he, uh, they can watch the VOD. Oh, that's, and, that's yeah, true. Yeah, we do, we do talk about them at the beginning of the, of the thing. So Yeah, because Andrew um, is hyped. Um, <laughs> so you can look at that. Um... But the, this one is, we're, we're going on a bike tour. Wait, actually, we should update. So we're going on a bike tour. I, oh, I, Benita's heading out. Oh, Good night, ya, Benita. Benita. Thanks for staying up this late with us. I know it's East Coast time, and that's super late. So cheers. cheers. Um, but this is my bike tour so far. I've... Um, we're losing all our East Coasters. Good night. Good night. Thanks Thank so you much for, for joining up. us. Oh yes. yes. Oh, but tell you about the bike tour. Okay, so we start <laughs> yes, the here. Cat butts. Um, actually, it's kind of a great way to start the bike tour. Yeah, dragon, uh, dragon dance. Dragon dance, and then gotta hit up the, the giant strawberry, giant strawberry, and then I'm I'm going for all the food. So the then this circle is circle house and the food. It's nice. a noodle stand. Yeah. Andrew, tell them about your uh, so bike tour. Started, what have you seen? Uh, similar, it must be a festival day because I am uh, a, uh, looks like Chinese opera, uh, public opera um, show uh, out in the street. Yeah, um, with the mountains in the background. Some mountains in the background. Going to enjoy myself some flowers. It, with feet in a pond yeah. as well. Feet possibly in a pond. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Giant these, ones were, these ones were pretty far from each other so i had to actually rent three bikes to get there uh because you only take them so far and then next i went to a nearby mall maybe i grabbed some mall court food mall court food <laughs> which so. was the <laughs> when we were arguing about what makes a, a food court a food court um the other day and then is it my turn I want to go on this boat, but it's nowhere near where I need to go. Is it my okay. turn? Yeah, let's okay. say so. Um, I don't remember who ended the last one. <laughs> Brain chart with the strawberry emo. <laughs> <laughs> strawberry. Um, I'm going to go with... Let's Legends, see. it's only 620 here. <laughs> Come on, people. Yeah, if you use Legends strategy of just imagining that, it's in, that you're in Hawaii, then it can be whatever time you'd like. I love that strategy. I mean, I'd like to be in that. That's a pro great. strat. Um, and then six, three. Let's see. Mm, oh, I don't 
don't think there's board anything. Board Game Geek TV is in the house. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, Board Game Geek. We are playing the Bike Tours Taiwan or You U -bike, Bike Tours uh, Taiwan. Depending on um, what translation, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's a fun, uh, supposedly quick. We've been chat chatting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we like the art, the art really too. Cool. I'm grabbing this. I thought about grabbing it just to like <laughs> prevent you from getting it, but I'm it... going quite the distance. I'm going to go all the way, and I don't know where Whoa. this is. And um, here is something. Ooh, run a man redeemed. Hydrate. We're going to... Ooh. Hydrate. And a cheers. And a posture check. Hmm. As Andrew... I don't know where our, like, posture <laughs> uh, things have gone because your family was borrowing them. Maybe they were you trying went it out. home with one. I say I'm going to sleep as I'm going to make it round five of... <gasps> Five oh! <laughs> Did the blessing work? And then I have to spend five bikes to get there. Wow. Do you get points for spending the bikes? No, but uh, whoever travels the longest distance Ooh, gets points. Ooh, so. I am not traveling very far. I'm just going back and forth. But there's so there's different like ways to score, which you can see on this card here. Um, you can get extra points for traveling a really far distance. So currently, Andrew's doing really well because he's traveled eight. 11, 10, 15, and I'm only fluctuating between 10, 11, 10. Mm -hmm. um, you can get also more points if you travel, um, um, like if any of these numbers are one, two, four, 14 or 15. So like the, the far the ends, ends of the spe yeah. spectrum. Um, and speaking of, that's actually a good reminder about what I need to do to keep up with my plan here i think i think my plan what was working earlier was Have not, a great was not working game feast bye breaking feast oh okay unlurking oh unlurking oh i re read that welcome before. back um also board game feast i saw that you are featured in something tomorrow connected with uh a number of people and actually I can't remember all the people that were featured in. <gasps> no worries, board game feast. Um, maybe I was asking about rival restaurants. Maybe that was it. Um, I think we we're. I think we were just talking about um, not streaming and just thinking about random people um, throughout our um, like while hosting my family we played rival restaurants and i like immediately felt like i was like oh i would like to like ask board game feast about it um if they've played it if they like it mm. and then there's but, a lot of great recipes in there but we like didn't um stream or weren't in any chat so i was like that was one of those moments where i was like man i like miss like having that back and forth with people because you run into them in different streams yeah. Uh, Brain and Dryer said such an awesome lineup this weekend. Yes, TLN is this weekend, which we definitely should plug. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, Table oh, can you Live do the... Network. Uh, is it set yeah, up? let's do that. Oh my gosh, this is going to you again. I need to stop doing that. Um, One, two, three, four. We are part of TLN. We're not on this weekend, uh, but, but we will awesome be in people. the chat. And there's so many great streams. Uh, go check out the schedule uh, with that link there and uh very excited to be hanging out and chat talking with people that's also going to be my birthday board game day uh with my friends over so uh there's going to be just uh wall to wall board games in this house over the weekend <laughs> and andrew's paradise <laughs> yeah basically, basically yeah, but i'll be dark. playing a game in here i'll walk into the other room pia will be watching tln i'll probably be streaming it on the tv <laughs> in the other room yeah, yeah brain and jar yeah i'm definitely gonna have to be like dropping in here and there just because it's also just fun to see everybody it's been raining the person right so we'll have to check it out oh there Oh, forget it was the last weekend will be rainy here. So we'll have to check it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yes, really? we are also Pacific Northwest. We didn't know it was going to be rainy this weekend. It's oh. been so beautiful this last week. Yeah, sorry. Now I have to, now I'm like. Checking the weather. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. I'm, I'm like Cloudy in a weird. Rain. Oh. 
Cash Liam, what are you guys, uh, what are you going to force them to play? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cash Liam, you are right. That That's is a great way to put it. <laughs> because um, because this is right when Andrew, um, he always, um, this is the like games that Andrew, I mean, he picks games that he knows they will also like, but they're like the games that have been kind of on the, not back burner, but you get to like, you strong arm and use your um your birthday power mm -hmm. uh so the games that i'm trying to get to the table and i always pick way too many than we actually have time for um but cosmic frog we already went over that um war of whispers i got the kickstarter of that the second kickstarter and i've been wanting to play it i think this particular group of friends is going to enjoy it um and super excited to play that. Tammany Hall, if anyone's heard of that. That's an older game. Uh, area control, um, negotiate uh, very kind of maybe mean. Um, I have a friend who, and also has a historical setting, so. Um, you, you have a friend um, who's in the chat sometimes, um, Duke of Frank, who loves historical games and yeah meaner games so that interesting historical one. setting uh definitely one that warrants a conversation beforehand because they're you know it can get mean yeah uh modern art by dr knizia which i haven't played it's another one that i've been really wanting to play um and hopefully you know this one's maybe a shot in the dark el grande this one i've been sitting on trying to get played for a long time but that's definitely also, a, that's a birthday flex right that's there. a birthday flex um we have the cool mini or not version of modern art, but I know there's a lot of versions out there and they all have different art styles, which is, I think, a cool thing for the game. Um, I don't know if you have a favorite. Let me know. Just sorry. Um, Kyoto. Anyone heard of that? Uh, that is a deep print game about climate change. Uh, cool topic. Uh, so basically, it, it's, it's Kyoto. Money makes the world go down. So everyone is playing different countries, trying to be the most profitable country without collectively destroying the planet, um, which is kind of like the situation we're currently in, uh, but also very negotiating and a lot of tension because uh, you can't all let the world get completely destroyed. Well, but you also want to profit. Uh, so it's kind of recreating that the political atmosphere currently and it's interesting because andrew like that's what andrew was saying that he's really wants to get some negotiating games on the table and that's just one that those are the games that just aren't trans yeah. they, they don't, don't translate, translate on to two players two very well or online like yeah. on board game games with arena. great table talk is kind of what uh so these are all the new games that I want I want to possibly play. I'm excited um, to be in the room next to all the table talk because they get... They, you guys don't get mean, but you guys are pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> Kyoto is in retail. It just just came out in retail. It I got it in the same box that I got these um, uh, Taiwanese, Taiwanese games. games. So, um, so you got it so from So very meaning. recently, yeah. I got it for uh, Miniature Market and... Um, it was my birthday package that I put a bunch of games in. Um, that's when I got. Uh, I was actually surprised. Actually, no, 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 no. I lied about that. I was going to. And Whoa. Then, uh, he needs a forgiveness moment on that. No, oh, I do, actually. Because uh, my parents bought it for me. I need to give credit where credit's due. Um, I asked for it. I was thinking about getting it in Minster Market. And then I asked for my it from my parents. Who got it on Amazon, I think. Um, Whoa. Oh, you know what? That's right. Because when, so, when when Andrew opened it for his birthday dinner, they, they were just like, interesting. This is a really heavy topic. And Andrew's like, I can't wait to play this game. <laughs> so here we go. We've got a forgiveness moment for me. Uh, not giving Andrew the this. liar. <laughs> have our computer set up <laughs> so that's our forgiveness moment i'm sorry <laughs> hi kwaiju Whoa, plays. kwaiju plays is here we got a raid <gasps> um where's our raid idol oh oh, oh here we're so a we little do, rusty so, <laughs> we're a little rusty we've been off for about a week uh with pia's family in town uh 
So welcome Raiders. The um, um, Raid Idol welcomes posture you. Posture check, posture check. And says, thanks for joining Andrew and Pia's stream. I'm Pia. I'm Andrew. Um, we, we are board, board game spam. Yeah, and we play um, usually physical board games. We're trying to get through our collection, but Andrew, it was his birthday last week, so we got a whole bunch of new ones. We <laughs> got a whole bunch of games from Taiwan, so we've been showing these games to everyone <laughs> and playing this game about doing a bike tour in Taiwan. Um, but what were you playing over on Kwaiju Plays? Yeah. And we do analog Channel. alerts here. That's oh, why sorry. we have this giant statue for a raid idol. And then uh, the other ones you'll just have to find out. Uh, just discover for yourself. Uh, but yeah, we, we stream Mondays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Pacific time. Did we say that already? No. Okay. <laughs> we, um, but Kwaiju... Um, Ooh, Dorf, Dorf Romantic. Yes. The, the game that is taking over board game Twitch. And, and my life <laughs> and as our well. Lives, for that matter. Um, what did you think of the game Kwaiju plays? And also, um, just so you know, we just started playing, um, I want to say Return of the King, but it's not that, um, For the King? Yes. We were, I think we were in someone's chat at some point and you had mentioned that game for the king. Um, and we've been really liking it. Yeah. It's, it, I've never played a game like that, but it's so funny because now that I've played some board games and like have played RPG games, tabletop RG, RPG games, I like definitely can orient myself a lot more. I think a lot about how like if Andrew tried to get me to play this game, probably like five years, seven years ago, I would have like no idea what was happening. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool to like, not learn new skills, but like learn mechanics and then like see it in a game and be like, I know what's happening. Yeah, Kwaju um, says that they'd love to play with us. Yes, yes, that would be please. so much fun. Yes, we will definitely contact you. We are generally you. available after 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> That's one our... If you want the both of us, if you just want one of us, then... Uh... You know. Then I call then playing. Calls it. Um, <laughs> um, it Sin Strider fun. says we should do a digital collab sometime, which we've done one with um, the Silver Metal Tavern. We were on their channel. Our computer's not quite up to snuff to be able to host. We can get one person, and then it kind of runs not great. <laughs> um, but, but, tomorrow, a new computer is showing up at our house and we will then be available to do a little bit more digital collaborations with, with people. people. So, and it's good because this laptop I I took I got this laptop in grad school, and it's on its last leg. I'm we started backing things up because it was kind of freaking out a lot, and we we're like, well, we'll keep using it with streams until it's mm -hmm. it dies. And yeah, you'll notice our our like. Our camera will like freak out every once in a while. Uh, I think that's part to do with the CPU, CPU among other things. Um, but yeah, gas, new computer, jealous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. It was like a long conversation for like the last two weeks about like, should we wait for this laptop to fully die or should we like, like know where it's heading and mm -hmm. um, just just call it so it's but th one of the things of like the streaming and collaborating with more people mm -hmm. because we've had to be like we'd love to join your stream our computer really can't handle it <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah even like yeah it basic the problem tends to be not not necessarily the voice call or the video call but it's like running any sort of intensive game while also streaming uh just kind of we tried it once with um frostpunk because that's a game peter really likes uh just to see what streaming a video game would feel like and um oh we got some follows oh. uh sorry uh i'm just like going off here we're anyway, trying to very just excited. We're, we're very we're... excited <laughs> uh so col uh colitan with me with may uh colitan with me colita so, colita i don't colita? know I don't Kolitan know. with me. Kolitan? Uh, five minutes ago. Five minutes ago followed us, so... And Tate. And Tate. So we've got Dr. Alan Grant from Jurassic Park who comes out... The doctor himself. 
And he says, <laughs> thank you for the follow, Tate and Kuli Tan with May. I've just been biking to uh, one of my favorite spots that has a ton of dinosaur bones. I'm really excited to dig up all the bones, but uh, not quite there yet. Still biking there, uh, but I'm just taking my time. It's a nice day, so thanks for the follows. Just wanted to take a stop, take a quick break, and thank you for the follows. Talk to you later. <laughs> so that's Dr. Alan Grant from Jurassic Park, uh, who thanks all of our followers. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks guys or uh, people and um griff dog yeah i am so excited for the frost punk board game i love the oh video game um i played so much of it andrew with some of his friends do like 24 hours or not 24 hours but like big street like board game or video game days and that was the game that i played on multiple like 24 hour events Mm -hmm. um, and also, Cash Liam was talking about Moonrakers, and that's a game that oh, I really I that. wanted to play. And it's one of those things that Andrew, it's one of the games that Andrew's like, we need to wait for other people. Mm -hmm. um, if we for have a negotiating time. game. If we have time, we will play it this weekend. Extra it, Life, it's Tricky beautiful. 20, yes. Yeah. Extra Life. Tricky 20, also going to be someone who's watching. Um, uh, Mortal Kombat with us. Uh, our friends are getting vaccinated and it's so great. And I think I've just been in such a good mood because the weather's been really great. Um, mm -hmm. It kind of was a bit cloudy today and I just found out that it's going to be rainy this weekend. But um, I've just been in such a good mood because of everyone um, getting vaccinated yeah. and us seeing our friends. I'm introverted, so I th I think I'm really surprised that I'm just like wanting more people. <laughs> like I feel like, I don't know, it's, um, it's very strange. Also, okay, this is off topic, but my mom, my mom cut our both of our hair um, and she did a good job with Andrews. She did, an <laughs> she tried something she saw on Facebook. <laughs> I on mine she like she, she's like lie down oh, and I'll, I'll and i'll cut your hair so i lie down and she, she like cut the hair and like she's like it makes natural layers the nice thing is my hair is very heavy so if you <laughs> mess it up it really is hard to it's see hard to notice yeah but um i kept I, I kept telling my mom, like, oh, it's really nice that Andrew got a nice haircut. <laughs> um, there's a saying in the Philippines called sana all. So it's like, wish, you know, wish that could be for everybody. But actually, it's not too bad now that I see it. I've just been putting it up. But it's getting warm out. So I think it needed to go. And with that said, we need to keep playing. <laughs> uh, Legend of Deanna says, Tate designed Cat Rescue. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. And Tricky Cat 20 says, we will, we will create all the sunshine we need with our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, Frostpunk board game looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> Run Man Gaming, I want to try something is never a good thing to say before a haircut. <laughs> I should have known. And the thing is, she is also the same person who like tried to thin out my bangs when I was when I was younger, when I was like in elementary school. And she like just cut short, long, short, long because she thought that would make it like thinned out <laughs> and there's a picture of me in like third grade and it's just like my bangs are like different lengths <laughs> but i think for me i was just like i don't want to go out and like get a haircut and my hair was just like longer than it's ever been and it was just like i was having neck pain it was so heavy <laughs> but it yeah so it was a bad sign um you gotta finish the round all right bye deadpan thanks for for staying up yeah sorry we couldn't show you the end it is a very light game and uh i do swear it's fast <laughs> but uh... um and 55 Ooh, right here and then thanks for spending some time with us deadpan we appreciate it mm -hmm. 30 and that goes to andrew oh, is this five? Ah. Oh. one Two, I really three, want to use four, my special five. move, but I haven't been able to. My special move. What's your special move? Oh, is that where you play the two? Yeah. Um. All right. I made a sub goal for myself, and you now need, I'm starting to grab, to grab a row. Oh, because you passed. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I need to. I'll read your strat after after we're done. No. Okay. Um. 
kind of I'm excited to see what you wrote down okay. for your strat. I need to not be afraid of using um, bikes. So I'm going to play Why would the 13. You be afraid to use bikes? The 13 only because there's Boba. And Ruel was talking about Boba Gett in, in, uh, in yeah, California watch out, at the Boba moment. Yeah, It's not just in California. Though. Oh, is it not? It's in the U United States of it's America. It's in the United States. It's in North America. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how Canada's situation is. About Probably Boba. just as bad. Cause board, board, uh, game, board Game Feast. I'm like, we're like just calling up Board Game Feast multiple times. But report back. How is the Boba... In um, Canada. Boba supply in Canada. So I'm playing this one. It's 13, so I need to play two. Um, three bikes. Three bikes. Oh, I see. Three bikes. So here's three, and they just go here. And then this goes here, and this is five. This is awesome. This feels great. And then I go here. All right. Here we go. Oh, I got to use this. I got to use my special moves. Hide your boba supply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do have some boba, actually. Um, I don't want to. Oh wait, it. we shouldn't have said that on stream. Someone's gonna come try to steal can, it. It's gonna Canada, be like the copper wire. Canada's of... token food reporter. That's right, boy <laughs> game piece. Uh, I'm gonna show some cards. Reporting here. in from Vancouver, BC, is a boy game piece. <laughs> boy game piece is our um our um boots on the ground. Letting us know how the supply chain is. I'm gonna go, let's see, so there's 13, 13. Ooh, I'm gonna grab this. <gasps> I'm gonna get the bow. No. The picture with the bow. Gotta get the bow. Whoa. Oh you're, my gosh, you're, I do your not. Your spatial awareness with where, the camera's right here. I have really great <laughs> spatial. Oh, it's cause I don't look at the camera. Anyways, I'm gonna play this. Hey, you Ooh, gotta move your I bought Isle of Cats. <gasps> Ooh, nice. nice. Have you played it yet? Or oh, just oh this this weekend. I just saw that. Pork and I haven't had boba in months. I should fix that. Yeah, get it now before it all runs out. There's the <gasps> supply chain is bad right now to North America, and um, I'm gonna play this card that lets me play another one. So I'm gonna oh, go. Oh my gosh, news. this journey. Look at this. So oh, it's just food after food after food. Um, I gotta show so you everybody. Got six. Three more you. So I I visited the giant strawberry. It doesn't have food. It's just like a giant strawberry statue like statue. It's not a real strawberry. And it made me really hungry. So then if I started to go to an actual on a food journey, which is what the stream that I watched the other day was this guy on a bike eating snacks. So I've hit the the noodle shop, then the boba spot. Then I followed up with some bow, and now I'm hitting up the dango. Yeah, that's what you call. It. Man, all the food spots. That sounds great. I'd do that. I think I'm visiting a cemetery, uh, <laughs> so uh, I don't know where that is. It's just a dark door. If anyone has been to Taiwan or knows about, oh, some I can of their figure spots, that out. I can look. I at mean, it you can here. look at the name of the neighborhood. But I'm gonna look it up. Okay. Oh my goodness! The giant strawberry is where the the like pond is, the quote unquote pond. Let's see. I wanna I wanna like look up these places. Um. Let's see. Where is that? So there's a red. There's red curtains. Okay, I'm grabbing this row, and I'm going to eight. Uh, oh, it's part of this. Oh, is six enough? I don't think six is enough. That would only get me to nine. I can't play this eight. So it goes here. All right, I'm not going anywhere today. Just hanging out. Cashly Mass, have you played? I think it's called Remember Our Trip. Uh, I haven't. I've seen the cover art of it, and it looks very charming. Um, I think probably not, I don't know how the game plays, but I could imagine. Are you passing? Uh, yeah, we both passed. Oh, got it, got it. Sorry, I'm yeah. really bad at this. Um. And your turn. Uh, yeah, that game looks very cool. I would love to play it sometime. I think it's hard to get, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but definitely on my watch list of things to look out for. 
if I see it in a trade or hmm. so on and so forth. 65. The idea for everyone else, remember our trip, is you are competitively trying to remember the vacation that you all had together. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I really like that. It's That's a Japanese hilarious. Game. Um, as someone with a bad memory, I feel like that's a good... I have a bad memory for certain things. Um, that's a really funny theme. Because I feel like that's actually happened or come come up. Your turn. This giant strawberry reminds me... I somehow on YouTube found a, like, how to make real strawberry milk um, video... It's like a, it was a, like a Korean cafe who was like sharing their strawberry milk, um, recipe. And I hated strawberry. I didn't like strawberry with like milk or cream or like strawberry ice cream when I was younger, but I like it now. I don't know what chat feels about it. Sound off if you are pro strawberry with milk. Milky strawberries. Milky strawberries. But um, yeah, it was just basically they put sugar with strawberry, like fresh strawberries and then put it with milk and then like sealed it nice. And they're like, this is what we sell at our Korean like cafe. And it was so tasty looking. Um, now I want strawberry milk, but I never thought about actually putting like real strawberries in it. I just think I just imagine it like the super pink pocky sticks or something. I'm like, that's mm. what strawberry flavored milky things are. Um, I think I want to try it. Anyways, is it strawberry season? Maybe I don't know it. what season it is, but it's definitely your turn. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this person is proposing to this person. Yeah, that's nice. But In the fireworks. It doesn't wrap around, right? The, no, the things no. don't wrap around. Okay. Well... Well, Griff then. Dog, I just had some strawberry tres leches cakes. Oh, does that count? Yes, it does. That, that sounds... sounds really good. Tres leches is very good. Andrew did not. Um, oh, that is your card. Andrew did not grow like he does. He is more of a pie person, and I am more of a pie and cake person. Oh no, I'm a pie and cake person. But you, you are prefer... definitely a cake person. But. I started liking pies as an adult, but I grew up with very good cake and growing up um, in school, a lot of people would bring tres leches cake to like school birthday events. And I thought like that was my baseline cake and Andrew's baseline cake was like Safeway cake. So I was like, with a, with a, with a background of cake, background of Safeway cake, um, you know, you're gonna you're gonna have some thoughts about cake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a number of number of things going on. Uh, all right, so we've got just saw our just gifted a tier one sub to board game feast and eclectic Hamill is raiding us. What? A okay, so whoa, let's whoa, deal whoa. with the raid first, and then because everyone's got to see the blessing. Uh, okay. So we've got. Oh, I have I have it. So we do um, for everyone who's new here. We do analog alerts here. This is our raid idol. Our raid idol comes out and tells you what we're doing. Um, we are playing bike tours Taiwan. We're going on a trip on a bike throughout Taiwan. I'm Pia. I'm Andrew, and we're board game feast. Er, <laughs> <laughs> we have taken over. <laughs> we are we're, now, we're, we're board are game spam. <laughs> we're now board game feast. <laughs> we have now become board game feast. No, we are board game spam. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we stream Mondays and Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Pacific time. Typically, uh, physical board games, board game feast of spam. <laughs> yes. That, that's our super Someday name. Someday we'll collaborate with him and then we'll... Uh... <laughs> Well, we're we're going to feast traitors. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to Stormcrow. We'll um, and we'll make the the super board game feast, board game <laughs> feast, feast of, of spam, spam. <laughs> happen. Happen. Yes. Um... Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we're board game spam. Sometimes we misspeak uh, about our own name, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're we're uh, we play physical board games those nights, and so welcome to the stream. Eclectic, and eclectic camel, how did the game go? How did you guys win? Uh, we do analog alerts, obviously, with our 
raid idol, but we have a we have a gifted sub we need to we need to give some blessings for. So okay. for our gift for our subs and gifted subs, we ha um the monkey king comes out and gives uh, a blessing. So just Sar, thank you for gifting the sub. May you have a day of um of noodles and then boba and then bao and then dango um in your future just like my game is foretelling in the cards <laughs> wow that's a great blessing the uh, cards told me yeah eclectic camel also gave us cheered 100 bits thank you so much and then of course everyone who's new uh throw in llmk that or long live the monkey king uh Anytime he gives a blessing or the email, bl hashtag blessed, of course. <laughs> and Eclectic Camel, um, let me think of a good um, blessing. I feel like may you have um, many nights of perfect summer ale, like, like summer ale drink worthy nights does that make sense you know when it's like a good night and you're like i'm gonna have a summer ale and it's gonna be it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good night may you have more of those <laughs> thanks eclectic camel thank you and i don't know if you you had mentioned um <laughs> when blessings are given is it just me or do you hear sparkling noises the um did I miss it, Eclectic Camel? How did the game go? Or um, Herb's Gambit, let us know how your game went. Um, and then also, Griff Dog said, there's a place in Seattle that makes it it's very good. I'm generally a pie person, but Trace Lethjes is an exception. Yeah, there is. Would you say that Terry Misu would fall under a cake? Because I love tiramisu. Oh, it's definitely a cake. And so that is a, another... We I grew up eating a lot of tiramisu too. I feel like I just had bougie cakes. Either bougie cakes or like um, like cakes that are just not the like standard Safeway cakes. And so I have like a high ceiling for like cakes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But anyways... Uh, board game feast says I made spam mac and cheese for a feast. Does that count? That definitely, <laughs> definitely counts. <sighs> Blessings are given. It's just me. Oh, so One! the sparkling, the That's sparkling awesome. noise. The sparkling noise is. It's a very satisfying click. No, Herb's game says like in my head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's great. I don't know how we can replicate that in more people, <laughs> but it's really just it's. It's these eyes. Um, Look at these eyes. Oh, it is the spark. Oh, there are the sparkly, sparkly eyes, eyes, right? Those were them. Oh, yeah. Those are the sparkly, are the sparkly eyes. eyes. Herbs Gambit, you have, like, great, like, audio, um, what is it? Like, um. Oh, you guys won against the Red Skull. Ooh. Uh, we watched the beginning of their stream, and they were playing cooperative uh, Marvel, the Marvel LL lcg card game from fantasy flight uh they do that weekly um and it's the finale and they were fighting red skull they were not anticipating winning they said it was supposed to be incredibly hard which i'm sure it was hard but good job for winning but you that bested sounds great. the red skull um uh, Red Skull. <laughs> uh, Just Sorry says Chiramusu is amazing, and then maybe Herb's Gambit is also a monkey king. <laughs> <laughs> Marvel Champions. There you go. That's the name. Um, Took almost two hours, but one in the end. Oh, oh man. Yes. That's like an epic. That is. The, um, the. I don't know who's gonna win in this game. We've dr somehow, again. We've been dragging out a 30 minute game for. Um, <laughs> uh two hours so far so we've just been I, I, it, it's our first stream back so we're just uh you know chatting a lot so i think i'm having the more delicious um the more delicious journey. trip so yeah journey. we're com we are both taking bike journeys around taiwan trying to have the more pleasant journey um, um the some of the cards the, so like these are what like the tableaus not can look like but like there's certain cards that are all like when they're next to each other mm -hmm. they like create this scene um, 
So I don't know where we're at, or I just went, cause I just grabbed, yes, I grabbed all of these. So it's your turn. You grabbed all of what? I just grabbed the food. I think I, I, I drew cards. Oh, okay. We're <laughs> all over the place then. One, five, 11. I'm trying to match the bottom cards. I'm gonna draw here. There's a little bit of push your luck in this game. Four, five. Ooh, this so you is... either draw cards. Oh, this um, goes to Andrew. You either draw cards or you grab a row. And so when you're drawing cards, you're generally building the rows out. Um, and so you're waiting. You want to get a good row and get a lot of cards, but also Perfect if you wait course. too long, someone else might grab them. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab this. Grabbing this row. It's a big old, big old row. Herbs Gambit. I didn't, we didn't read it, this out loud, but it needed to be read out loud. We were victorious against the Red Skull and we brought peace back to the land. <laughs> you said they won, but ultimately the summary is not that they won. It's that they brought peace to the land. Uh, oh, you grabbed that line of... Uh, and it took me four bikes to go <coughs> from... I, this is my second flower location. I, I'm just... You're having a delicious day, but I'm having a very flowery day. Yeah. Um, Hopefully you don't have allergies. Everybody's allergies whoa, are acting whoa, up right now. Whoa, that's very passive aggressive of you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Bye, James. Thanks for spending oh, some time with yeah. us. Um, I don't um, have allergies, but I know a lot of people are acting up. Yeah. And that was your... Did you... Just go. Oh, yeah, I'm past. <coughs> um, I'm gonna go. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. The game ends when one of us has nine. Andrew's traveling a bigger distance, so I'm a little nervous about that. So I might. Um... That's just one scored condition. You don't have to compete with me on that one. I think <laughs> Brandon Chart very passive aggressive. <laughs> Hope you hope your allergies don't act up. <laughs> um, I oh I get to dr I get to set them out before grabbing. Yeah, right? once yeah. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, is this strawberry milk? <laughs> oh my god! Just sorry, I imagined a mob boss saying it'd be a real shame if those allergies came over and ruined your day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a curse that the monkey king can give. <laughs> oh, it's strawberry champagne or strawberry wine, it looks like. Um, and this is connected. Oh, here's an example. So here's my giant strawberry. Um, when you connect them, the scene comes together. I don't know why this is a big deal to me, but it's like a little puzzle. Um, but I'm going to place this 50... 58. No, this is going to Andrew. That is the reason why you don't just draw no, cards, no, no, no. I think. No, no, no. It goes there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. 52. That one goes the there you go. Yeah. Okay. And then I get to draw. Whole row. Oh, my goodness. What is the scene here? It's like a giant bunny that's lying down. <laughs> that looks cool. It's like an art. Like a sculpture. It looks like an art sort. installation. Yeah, yeah, I love this installation. Here's a bunny lying down. Relaxing on like a mound of chocolate, I'd like to think, but it's dirt probably. And then like a stork. Okay, mm -hmm. I need to look up these locations. These are really cool. These are um, all, I think, real locations in Taiwan. Yeah. Or based off of. Obviously, mm -hmm. they don't look like a cartoon. I'm going to look up to see if there's a giant strawberry in Taiwan. Um... Because it makes me curious. Mm -hmm. Then just, I guess it's just our hides book bouquet of flowers. <laughs> I'm going to play this. I'm going to grab this one. I got to grab the pineapple because also it's cheaper for me to go there. So 12. So I need to pay three. three. Um, you have three. I do have three. I'm going to pay that. And then I'm going to go here. And then it's your turn. Don't forget to put the bike there. Oh, yes. Um, And these refill. All right. Oh. Uh, Okay. <gasps> what is that? It looks like, oh my gosh. I need to look up what the food is too. 15, no. <clears throat> yes, that's what I mean. 24, 
Is there really not anything lower than 24? Okay, I just gave you two cards. Yeah, all the cards are unique, just are. And so it's just fun to see the different scenes as well. Um, then it's my, well, should I grab a, no, I'm going to grab this one. I really like this oh my gosh, we got another scene raid. right here. Oh, hey, rolling with rock. I'm okay. Here's the, all right. This is our raid idol. We do analog alerts here. Welcome raiders. Uh, the raid idol comes out and tells you what we're doing. We are playing you bike tours, Taiwan. It's a Taiwanese game. Um, and about traveling. Uh, around Taiwan on a bike, on a rental bike, of all things. And, oh, Jassar, uh, thank you. And so I'm Andrew. Oh, I'm Pia. And we are Board Game Spam. We stream, typically stream uh, IRL games, um, physical board games, Mondays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Uh, this is a fun little guy riding a bike. We're playing a game about doing a bike tour in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> and this little bike guy kind of reminds me of a character in Fort, the game Fort by Letter Games. But what were you playing? Rolling with Rock? Um, and just saw gifted Ooh, yes. a subscription to Meeple Conrad. So Jessar gets another blessing. Oh, so uh, we do um, phys analog words here. So uh, <laughs> we're, we're overwhelmed. Yeah, we're overwhelmed. <laughs> Just sorry, you get another blessing here that the um, Monkey King gives you. Um, may your next bike journey um, be easy on the tush. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're planning on going on a bike trip, Just sorry, but thinking about all this biking reminds me that it is it is hard <laughs> to ride long distances on a bike so i hope your next bike tour is comfortable because i have does, a road bike so it's fitting <laughs> it does look like greg from over the the, the garden wall burgle your dango burgle, oh it is burgle your turts uh also everyone in the chat uh who said long live the monkey king thank you for the the uh long live the monkey kings the respect or the bless <laughs> <laughs> and um and game game jedi Ooh. thank you uh, for following yeah, so well, for our follows dr alan grant from jurassic park comes out and says thanks game jedi i was just biking to one of my favorite dinosaur bone digging locations uh, there's so many bones there. I get to dig them all up, and it's so much fun, but it's a really long bike ride away. So I'm just taking a break and saying thanks for the follow. -up. Thanks, Game Jedi. And Dr. Alan Grant could probably agree with Brandon Najar saying um, that you get used to the butt pain when you, when you, <laughs> when bike, you bike a lot. A certain <laughs> and Soros Song, what do you need to watch? Do you need to watch... Um, um, over the Garden Wall, or Pokemon, or Yu-Gi-Oh! There's a couple <laughs> of different things going on in the chat. There's a video game night on your channel, or Rolling with Rock's channel. Um, can you do a shout out? Yes, of course. Um, Fire Red and Duelist of Roses. We had a lot of board game discussion. Love board game discussion. We picked this game because we knew we'd be very off topic because we haven't been streaming for the last 10 days because my family was in town. We were hosting. They were they were sleeping like on this couch right behind us. Um, so we are back streaming and we picked a fun breezy game um, that we have managed to draw out. A 30 minute game we have managed to draw out in for two hours. Yeah. Um, also, shout out to Rolling with Rock. I think he's on the schedule for Tabletop Live Network yeah! that's happening this weekend. Uh, so Which please, you should do. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, please go watch Tabletop Live Network. It's a great chance to meet a ton of different streamers. Um, they're streaming for 24 hours. Every two hours, a new person jumps in and raids the next person. Uh, the next stream and there's a lot of collaboration streams going on. So yeah, and just as as um, Herbs Gamut said, the happiest bike guy um, to ever happy, amazing. That's how we. <laughs> that, is, that is definitely the happiest bike guy to ever happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so well said, Herbs Gambit. This is going to be us all weekend long because we're going to be playing games, watching games on stream, 
This is our expression. This is us going to be happying all weekend long during TLN. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very fun expression. And now I've lost the happiest bike guy. There he is. <laughs> Rolling Rock says they are at 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. Or no, uh, 6 a.m. Pacific time. With Meeple Conrad nice. and Bonzinator playing role player. Ooh. Someone, a couple, who, there's a couple of people that talk about role player, have like mentioned really role player I'd before. I'd love to play it sometime. And I always think it's like role playing and then, then, but people capitalize it and I'm like, oh, it's a game. No, it's a dice game where you're making a role playing character. <gasps> really? Yeah. But the game is making the character. Oh my gosh. So, I love anyways. making characters probably more than actually playing a game. No, I don't like it more, but I just, I love making characters. Um, it's Sagrada D&D &D edition. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Um, Herbs Gambit planning on working and lurking. Yeah, I have a little bit of work that I need to do this weekend. So that might be... I, I might be streaming or like casting the streams up on the big screen and then doing a little bit of work. Just Star um, says they made an actual expansion where you use the character in an RPG. That sounds awesome. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I um, love Yeah, it's definitely been like on my list and I haven't looked into it too deeply just because I know as soon as I look into it too deeply... I'm going to really want it. So <laughs> You're probably going to want it right after we watch Rolling with Brock play it. I yeah, feel like. I feel like that's good. <laughs> it's very true. Um, or maybe announced, not sure in time, COVID. Time oh, yeah. yeah. That makes yeah. sense. I made um, a role player character for Defu Bonzinator Misty Mountain on role player. Man, I need to figure out what role player... I need to know. Well, I'll, I'll know soon. Oh, see you later. Brain a jar. Thanks for staying up with us. Yeah, thanks for um, spending a little bit of your day with us. I mean, I've been known to have that effect on you too. That's true, Rolling with Rock. You yeah, have, we um, have bought a few. Oh, speaking of people influencing us to buy a game, Legends DM, are you still here? Because we, we got something. I feel like, um. so, so Rolling with Rock influenced us to get... Power Rangers. Andrew has left the room. I'm not sure what he's retrieving. It was his birthday last week, so he got some birthday. Anyone who gave him a gift last week gave him a board game. So we have a between family members. A lot of new games. Um, but Legends, you were hyping something up. Oh, Geekopolis. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I'm excited to play this. I know you like it and you've been hyping it to us for a while. So uh, I finally decided to It's funny do because it. hype, you say that, but it's like all Legends has to say is, I bought, I bought Ginkopolis. It's in the mail. And then we're like, what's Ginkopolis? Uh, no, he hyped it or they hyped it more than that. They were saying that they really liked it, that we should get it. Oh, were, I don't were... remember that at all. Andrew's making it up. <laughs> My copy should be in soon. I I learned um, about it before the COVID era. Yankee Coppolos, I didn't play it yet. Mm. It, so then, is it is it just not been around? Like, is it just is it just come out? It's How an have old people game. played it? Oh, okay, it's an old that's game why. that only had a limited print run and was really rare, hard to find for a long time. And then they recently re um, did a new edition, so it's been out of print for a long time. Yeah, for ten years. Oh, just so okay. I was like, I feel like people are talking about it in a way. Legends DM. It was not... you definitely were hyping that one. <laughs> I just pre-ordered. I mean, maybe you haven't played it yet, but you definitely mentioned it a number of times. What is a Power Rangers deck builder? <laughs> Oh no, is this another oh, thing? Oh, you knew about that one. No! We saw it when we were ordering our Power Rangers uh, game. I don't think I understand. What do you mean? It's uh, it's from the same people. Company? Oh yeah, same no. Company, yeah. Well, my birthday's coming up, so Maple Conrad, this is information. Is that out yet? It's still pre ordered. Pre -ordered. Okay, yeah, yeah. This information is dangerous. The designer is being crabby and didn't want to release rights for reprint. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. The Power Rangers they oh, comes out in May! That's my birth month. 
Don't worry, once I get the deck builder, it will be on my channel to tempt you. They pushed it back. Oh, a month, a month oh, or two. Okay. Oh, okay. As everything, right? Oh, Currently. wow. This also, is... Rolling with Rock, I know you mentioned that we would do some sort of like Power Rangers collaboration stream. We're still down to do that. Yes. <laughs> we definitely want yeah. to do it. I'm getting a little bit more used to work. Today was the first day that I only worked about an hour and a half past when I should have been done. I'm trying to trim that down so I'm working within my work schedule. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a little bit hard to manage it, manage work schedules when you're working from home and you have a your first baby. So you're like trying to figure out how everything, how to balance, that how to balance everything. But we definitely want to play Power Rangers. Um, we can play my dragon dagger. Yeah. Pew, pew. Yeah, I'm still waiting for that epic game with all of us where we can play. Yes. With Dragon Dagger. Um, yeah, totally. The hotness game right now is the, the initiative. initiative. Yeah. I'm I've seen sure. the box cover of that one. Um, is that the the this, row you pulled? This is the row that I pulled the initiative. Sorry, this is my my tableau is just so It's blowing up. It's, it's huge. So big. And I'm getting strawberry sparkly, spar strawberry bubblies. Oh. Again, the pictures really don't matter, but um, <laughs> I want you all to know what my journey's been like. I also really like this Green Ranger Meeple. <laughs> Meeple <laughs> Conrad and Rolling with Rock are throwing up um, in the chat. And then this goes here. And Eight. One, oh my gosh, you're two, one away three, from four, ending the five. game. And I only have Shoot. five. Oh, actually, Andrew, can I do... Can I do something here? So this so this was the card, and I was going to put it away. But I want to use this card yeah. to play it. So I'm going to play this. To play this. Oh, nine. Shoot. I don't think I have the... Actually, I can't do that. Why? I and don't have do. the I, I don't have the distance. I don't have the oh. cards to get to that to reach that far. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna undo that one. Okay. But I get five, one, two, three, four, five to get this. The end is near, y'all. I just straight up get five. Okay. Yeah. Uh and then so you pulled first? No, no. I had already passed. Why is there Still five rows then. Maybe I didn't flip that back. Anyways, Maybe. we have not been very good with our no things. So I will pull two. And oh, then grab one. missions run through a comic strip. Also, a cool plastic decoder device. The initiative. Oh, man. Uh, the initiative. It's designed by one of the big fantasy flight designers who did a lot of the like Arkham horror Ooh, stuff, uh, really but they like. are think independent now. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, which they do great narrative designs. And so the initiative does look pretty cool. Camping. I'm excited for it. I've I don't have it yet. by but... initiative. Yeah. I need to temper my, I, bought a lot of games this month so initiative i want maybe someone will stream it i okay, want to know i'm grabbing this one here cory cory is the name yeah cory that's it and that is a bar oh what do we do when there's no more to draw and i am gonna get no one. <laughs> uh then we shuffle a new a new draw deck oh wow okay Corey Kinsiexa. Whoa. Is that also the designer of Twilight Imperium? Am I wrong in that? I know they did a number of the Fantasy Flight games. Oh, ones that I really enjoy. Agreed. <laughs> Dragon Blue Sats. <laughs> Uh-oh. Pia, you've been hiding your times five cards in here i saw Me? one yeah as i shuffled oh sorry i I've was not been keeping organized <laughs> i'm going to it's play funny because soon. in <gasps> our life p is the organized one but when we play board games her you know areas I... look like 
I'm the most this, disorganized. You know, these, I, you can't see them, but there's cards just all over the sprawling place. all around. When her. I'm play like placing tokens, they're all like wonky, um, and I don't care. This is my one time where I get to be messy. <laughs> <laughs> so you started that. Um, so I go first. Eighteen. Oh, there we go. And sixteen. Oh, <gasps> ooh, this person selling croissants. Um, oh, they're so far away. I don't want to travel that far for croissants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. Okay, what should I do? Okay, this is the last turn, I guess. Oh my goodness, that's so far. No, 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 it's not far. <laughs> We're rolling with rock. Get out of here with that Red Ranger talk. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. I'm just gonna, it's gonna be the last turn soon. So I'm gonna just review what I can get. So we get points for longest distance traveled. We get points for one, two, or 1415, which I have two, and there aren't any of those out. And then I get points for having the same card. So I could try for a same card, though I don't have any same cards. But I could do some double three, um, nine, 10, 11. Ooh, I can do that one. I'm gonna play, oh, I don't like that. Hmm. I wanna, I wanna be Andrew to the eight though. Okay. I'm gonna end my trip here eating something that I'm not sure what it is, but I'm ending my trip at a food truck. So I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna play um, 11, 10, nine. So play two. And then I'm gonna play Put a bike. On there. Yep. bike. And then the game is done. It's done. Well, we end the round. But, okay. Yeah. Um, and... <laughs> Sounds like you'll be ending your trip at home in the restroom based off that description. I did eat a lot on this trip. Um, we recently, I was telling those who were on the stream earlier, we watched a someone who is streaming a trip. They live in Korea and they were riding a bike home to their farm in Busan and they would like ride their bike and then see like an ice cream store and like stop and get ice cream. And then they would like ride their bike a little bit further and get like a really yummy fi fried pancake. And I just watched this stream as I, what was I doing? I think I was working and Andrew was playing a video game and it was fun. It felt like we were traveling, but not traveling. We're kind of, um, and it was, it was great because we got to see yummy food that they were eating, but now we're playing the, the board game version of that stream. <laughs> <laughs> that stream that we watched yesterday. All right. So let's count up our points. Okay. So, uh, longest distance it's, it's the difference between the different pairs. So here it goes. 8 to 11, which is 3, so 3, uh, then 11 to 10, which is 1, so that's, I have a total of 4, 10 to 15, which is 4 more, or 5 oh more, so that's 9, uh, 15 to 11, which is 4 more, so that's 13, 11 to 14, which is 3 more, uh, so that's 17, and then 1, 18. Okay, I couldn't do yeah, that. Yeah, you can't, you were... we can't do them both at the same time. One. Mine will be really simple because I haven't really traveled very far. And then I'm not going to get it. I've already like established. You have a lot more cards than me. Oh, I guess that's true. Thirteen. Aha. Uh -huh. So I get four Andrew... points and you get two. Okay. And then um, for each one, two, 14, or 15. So I have one, two, I have two points from that. I got two points. And oh, I thought you had more than that. And then for each no. uh, like pair, triple, or quadruple set. So I have one pair. 
That's it. So I get two points for that. Low scoring game. Ah, oh, two. So two, two pairs. Two pairs. So four points. Yeah. Four points. Yeah. Uh, oh no. Two points. Uh, two points. Two points. I Most am honest. One, two. I could have gotten away with two extra points. And then you got nine cards, so you get two points. Yes. And now we reveal our secret initiatives secret cards. So I get two. I get four <gasps> points because oh. I have three bikes. Oh, I didn't know that that could be some. I thought you were just really inefficient with your tableau building. <laughs> and then I have one, what? just one point. That's messed up. And then do I have three of the same? One, two, three. I do. So that is two points. 14 points. My final score. So I only get, I only, oh my gosh. I only get two points because I did a bunch of food. <laughs> no, what was your, what was your score? Wait, what about all your other 5X cards? That was it. I didn't, I wasn't getting. Um, the end game ones? No, I didn't realize you could get so many end game ones. I was getting ones that gave me different actions. I didn't get any victory point scoring ones. All right, I'm going to double check to see, can I have the rule book? I want to make sure that this one stacks like the way that I have um, it stacking. In, in my um, Pia strat, I totally said that I was going to try and get as much food as possible. And I didn't really realize that it could completely derail my, um, I thought it would just be fun. Do you, oh, so you all have one of the same type. Yeah. So for each three, you would get two points. For oh, each, I can? So yeah. like each three? No, no, for each three of a different type. So, oh. <laughs> so if you had three food and then three of these I was very single-minded in my journey. <laughs> So I, I got thought... 14 and you have 10. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> that was what I said. I was going to be trying to gather as many food um, <laughs> cards as possible. But I didn't really realize that the food cards were, um, were related to a suit. Since this is our first playthrough, I just thought it was cute. that I didn't know that like oh, a picture would it, be... Yeah. But... Um, thanks for joining everybody. That yeah. was the bike tour, or you bike tours. Okay, I'm gonna read your strat now. So, Pia's Path Victory will <laughs> will efficient tableau building, which getting, I did do that. Yeah, uh, and getting the extra two points, which for I did gathering the nine cards. Wow, you accomplished that uh, in her tableau, which also triggers end game. Her side mission, not part of the game at all, is to get as many scenes that feature food as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Which I did, but I did not realize that uh, that would be. <laughs> Thanks, Griff Dog. Yeah. Great um, gaming weekend. We can't wait. It'll be very fun. So excited. Um, Andrew will get all his negotiating. Um, um, mean games. Mean games. <laughs> um, not out of his system, but, you know, Just meets get him in. that. And unfortunately, Jassar, oh, wait, Jassar, were you the one who was asking about which games um, Andrew got that were from Taiwan? Um, um, oh, I guess there's also the VOD, because we should. Oh, yeah. We'll, um, we'll, uh, Andrew's going to do a quick, I'll do a, a quick, quick, quick one. So I got a bunch of these games that are from Taiwan. Uh, let's switch over to faces here so we can show them. Thank you for everyone who's listened to this yeah. multiple times. But Andrew, so we got guess... bike tours Taiwan. We've yeah. got Harvest Island, a fruit grower, um, which has got... really cool art as well. We played that one yesterday, just ourselves. And then Electropolis, which is a city building game with tiles, um, fun kind of simple uh, striking art, and then a game Dado Chung. Uh, which is uh, market and Andrew and likes the face game. in that one. Yeah. 
Well, Board at Home is rating us. I was just Bo about to home. rate you. <laughs> Board at Home, we have you pulled up, ready to <laughs> ready to raid. Well, we'll introduce ourselves before we raid the next location. Um, Board at Home, uh, we do analog alerts here. I'm Andrew. I'm Pia. And we're Board Game Spam. And uh, this is our um, oops. Uh, this is our raid idol who comes and welcomes welcomes you and tells you what we're doing. We were playing U Bike Tours. This um, was the game. If Oops. someone wants to do exclamation point game in there, it'll give you a little description. It is a uh, fun little card game, filler game. Should take 30 minutes. Took us about two hours because we've just... Two and we, a half. Two and a half. We've been uh, off for the last week or so um, with Pia's family and just enjoying time with them. They got to meet our baby for the first time uh, because of COVID um, and uh, just had a great time. But uh, didn't get a stream there, so we've just been kind of talking about what we've been playing, and and finding out what other people have been yeah, playing. yeah, finding out what people have been playing. So thanks for joining us, thanks for the raid, really appreciate that. Um, but we're gonna raid, we're gonna raid, we're gonna raid on. So uh, ride this, raid on, raid on, ride raid this raid, raid wave raid. with um, us as and we yes, go. Gr Griftock will definitely let you know about um, about. Cosmic Frog. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be a great um, mixture of, of um, like, the, just a great set of people to play it with. And I think Andrew and I have talked about this. We like mean games, but we are fortunate to have some, we have a good group that really, like, enjoy it. And, like, they're fun to play mean games because they, like, are really reactive in not a, like, negative way, if that makes sense. And they, they respect a good mean move and so um those games have been on hold the negotiating games and the meaner mm -hmm. games um just because yeah two players it doesn't really work as well and on tts or bga you can't really do that table talk so we're andrew's gonna be playing or we're gonna be playing cosmic frog and some other games that I can't remember, but we're probably going to be talking about it <laughs> um, soon. And, but um, can't, we can't wait to hear what other people are playing after this weekend. Um, all right. If anyone has any recommendations to, for someone to raid, because uh, we were going to raid you, bar, uh, Board at Home. So, um, yeah, it seems it's best in large groups. That That's what we've heard from... Um, Griff Dog. I really I wanted to play it so bad too. Boarding Feast and Andrew had to like talk me out of it. We actually were considering playing it when we were um, when we did our TLN stream um, just because I just think it's so funny but um, Andrew was like Pia, respect the, not the player count but the recommended player count. <laughs> it's gonna matter. Um because I think that's the thing. Andrew usually is the one curating and picking games. And so I don't really think about player count very much. Um, but because of COVID, I am realizing like, oh, that game was a little bit like um, it wasn't, didn't really come come alive because it didn't have the right amount of people. Or like when you have too many people, like we've played zombie side with too many people, I think a couple of times. Mm -hmm. So when, then we heard that people are recommending fewer and I'm like, oh, that makes more sense. Cause it helps with the pace. Game Freak Geek Girl in the house as well. Hey Game Freak Geek Girl. <laughs> My friend has Cosmic Frog. We're supposed to play it sometime. <laughs> We're supposed to play it sometime. Yeah, it's a great a, it's summary. A great of our life. Uh, um, uh, let's see. Oh, missed it. Anyone have a suggestion? We're like looking. The only channels we follow are food and drink channel. Um, uh so meeple conrad yeah uh zombie black plague is great but we played it with six i think I, I did the same thing and there was someone who's very new to board games there and i don't think they had a great time uh they also there's always a character in zombie side that doesn't get to do a whole lot because they just have to like stay on the objective or whatever so playing it two or three players i think is the best number of players so and um, um, legit super TJ, are you talking to us about joining? Oh, poor game feast, chicken stream? life. We could raid into chicken. <laughs> chicken life. We were talking about chicken life, or <laughs> um, oh yeah, definitely contact us. We'd definitely be interested um, mm -hmm. if we are available on that that 
that day. Yeah. Um, our we, main. Um, uh, oh, oh, dang it. I our, forgot about our, that. Is our baby. Oh, right. yeah. The constraint is that for collaborating, usually it has to be after 8 p.m. Um, for both of us to join, or one of us can typically join because the other one um, is on baby duty. And to determine who is on baby duty, um, we will stream an intense rock, paper, scissors um, um, <laughs> <laughs> between the two of us about <laughs> who will. <laughs> uh, Chicken Life, I don't think, is on right now. What Chicken Life is it on? Um, um, I saw Rolling with Rock say NASA. Mm. Um, just full on NASA <laughs> there's no one watching NASA but they are live technically I'm not sure what, um, what, <laughs> this is I, it feels funny because I feel like, it's like I want to I want to I always like streaming to someone uh, well actually if you guys don't mind I do want to stream into adobo and rice it's a food stream if, and you, if, making, yeah, if y'all are um into some food. They're, they're making ramen, and in and and in honor of um my food, my food objectives that you know my food strategy that didn't work, and this you know this noodle um this this like noodle stand that I visited in the game. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go get some. We're gonna go watch some food. Thanks everyone for joining. Thanks for the raids. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, excited to see everyone in chat in uh, TLN this weekend. So. Yeah. Thanks for spending some time with us. Ooh. And Bye. the raid is starting in three, two, one. Raid <laughs> now. Do you want to jump on and see? I think you're there, right? We'll see if it worked. A double raiders. <laughs> Oh, hello. 